and then looking at uh, adding uh, P.J. and Gafford at the trade deadline and then getting Derrick Jones Jr. and Exum. Uh, so a lot of positives uh, from a negative and then being able to uh, work through this past season and uh, having uh, getting off to a good start. Um, some will say we stumbled coming out of the blocks after uh, the All-Star break, but uh, with the some of the losses we learned from and turned those uh, losses into positives, and we ended the season on a high, uh, getting to the playoffs. As we mentioned, playoffs aren't guaranteed. You have to earn it. It's not given to you. So uh, this group has earned the, the right to play uh, You know the Clippers in this series. Looking forward to today, and uh, for the next couple of weeks, it's going to be something. Yeah, this is, this is going to be a lot of fun. This is what it's all about. As an athlete, um, you know, you work extremely hard, and you, every, everyone's fighting for one goal, and that's to be a champion. Appreciate the time. Good luck today. Thanks a lot, Cooper. All right, there is Jason Kidd with today's Coach's Corner. Still to come in our pregame show, uh, Kevin Gray with a Clippers scouting report, my news and notes, and we'll take you through the day in the NBA. Obviously, a one-game Boston and Miami already underway and uh, just about to be complete. Uh, we'll have the UT Southwestern recovery report, and I'll spend a few minutes with Mike Curtis, the new beat writer for the Mavericks from the Dallas Morning News, before Mark Stein joins me at Crypto.com Arena for the Mavericks and the L.A. Clippers in Game 1 on the Dallas Mavericks Radio Network. Hey, Dallas. Regardless of the weather, there's one part of my daily routine that stays tropical year-round. Celsius Tropical Vibe with a delicious combination of star fruit and pineapple. Mmm. Dallas is fueled by Celsius Essential Energy Drinks. Oh, yes, okay. I love what you've done with the place. Thanks, my guy. Yeah. I still got to show you the third floor. Okay, set me on up. That's where the action happens, man. <laughs> now, Sarah calls this the panic room. The panic room? Uh -huh. Okay, well, I didn't know that you were a doomsday prepper. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> it's just where I watch my football games. Right, mm. right. Oh, snap, who's playing? Wait, 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 wait. No, no, did he get picked? No way! Yeah. Oof. Yo, 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 what are you oh. doing? Get him, get him! Oh, my. Are you seeing this? Yep, yep, I'm seeing it, yeah. <laughs> no. Somebody tackle him! Oh. He's running to the end! Oh, okay. no! Oh, wow. Oh, I can't breathe. Oh, boy. I can't breathe. Where's Sarah? Sarah! AT&T Fiber with all Fi covers your whole house, even your aptly named panic room. Get AT&T Fiber with all Fi and live like a gagillionaire. Limited availability. Coverage requires AT&T Wi-Fi extenders at additional charge. They're modern-day con artists, and they're the focus of Creating a Con, a true crime anthology podcast. Season 1 spotlights Ray Trapani and his tech startup scam, endorsed by DJ Khaled and Floyd Mayweather, and built on empty promises and millions from built investors. If someone's like, oh, what's your best way of making money? I don't think start a business. I'm like, oh, we should start some sort of scheme. And I can't help it. Listen to Creating a Con on America's number one podcast network, iHeart. Open your free iHeart app and search Creating a Con. It's cartoon night at Toyota Stadium. Don't miss out on the action against Houston Dynamo FC April 27th at 7.30 p.m. Presented by New. It's a Texas derby you won't want to miss. Tickets are on sale now and seats are going fast. Reserve yours now at fcdallastickets.com. Hey, Ben and Skinner for the greatness of QC Kinetics. If you know someone in your life who's struggling with chronic joint pain, then you know that they're not enjoying their life very much. You know, my sweet mom, before she passed, she was limping around. She had chronic joint pain in her knee. She was scared to have surgery. She was scared of a lot of the pain meds that are out there. Unfortunately, QC Kinetics wasn't around back then, but it is around now. This is state-of-the-art technology. It's the science of using natural biologics from your own body that can bring you lasting relief with no drugs drugs and no downtime. These new advanced regenerative treatments are getting amazing reviews for people with arthritic pain or pain from a sports injury. So call QC Kinetics today at 972-972-8610 or visit them online at qckinetics.com for a location near you. There's five in the Metroplex, so they got one for you. Call QC Kinetics today for a free consultation. 972-972-8610. That's 972-972-8610 or qckinetics.com. Hey, it's Mark Cuban, and you're listening to the home of the Mavs. Back to Dallas Mavericks Playoffs Basketball on the Mavs Radio Network. Time now for a scouting report on tonight's game. Here's Kevin Gray on the Mavs Radio Network. Let's get to today's scouting report on the Los Angeles Clippers. The Clippers coming to today's game as one of the best offensive teams in the league with a record of 51-31 and 31 during the regular season to earn the fourth seed and home court advantage in the first round of the Western Conference playoffs. 
Los Angeles finished the regular season with the fourth best offensive rating in the league at 117.9 and was seventh overall in net rating at a plus 3.4 this season. This, se this season, the Clippers became the first team in NBA history to have three players make at least 250 free throws and at least 125 three-pointers in the same season in Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, and James Harden. Paul George has scored 20-plus points and made at least one three-pointer in each of his last 19 playoff games. The only longer such streaks in postseason history belong to Kevin Durant and Donovan Mitchell. Kawhi Leonard led the Clippers this season, averaging 23.7 points per game as the Clippers are 14-12 and 12 in the playoffs with Leonard and just 4-7 and seven without him since he joined the Clippers in the 2019-2020 season. Los Angeles brings with them a strong bench that includes NBA Sixth Man of the Year candidate Norman Powell and former NBA MVP Russell Westbrook to support a talented Clippers lineup. The Mavericks will need a total team effort led by the superstars Luka Dodge to Kyrie Irving if they want to walk out of Game 1 with a victory. And that's been today's scouting report. Still ahead on our pregame show, we'll go inside the NBA and catch up on all the games for today's action across the NBA playoffs. We've got the UT Southwestern recovery report on both teams. And later, Coop's courtside interview with Mike Curtis of the Dallas Morning News. But right now, we head over to Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles to join the voice of the Mavericks, Chuck Cooperstein, who has his news and notes brought to you by TIAA, the official retirement sponsor of your Dallas Mavericks. Happy NBA playoffs, Chuck. Happy NBA playoffs, and it has been a long time coming. It's only been a year that the Mavericks didn't make the playoffs and maybe feels like about 10. And then the end of the season came last Sunday, and we've had to wait a full week before this series with the Clippers that have been long anticipated has finally come to pass. The 16th 50-win season in Mavericks franchise history that goes back to the 1980-81 season. And uh, a season that has been extraordinarily special on so many levels, not the least of which has been the performance of Luka Doncic, who has uh, done things that no one has ever done in the history of this sport, including averaging 33 points, nine rebounds, and nine assists per game. But he says it's much more than just about him. We have Kai. The whole team uh, is different, uh, you know. Um, the whole team, like I always say, uh, same answer. We have great chemistry. Uh, we're playing great together, uh, but you know, Clippers, they have an amazing team. They have unbelievable talent, so uh, it's gonna, every game is going to be really tough. And obviously that, that Clipper great talent has been somewhat sliced away because of the absence of Kawhi Leonard. He will not play today. Amir Coffey, uh, the veteran out of Minnesota, will start in his place. He actually started against the Mavericks back on December 20th when Paul George didn't play and came up big in the fourth quarter, hit a couple of big baskets, part of a 12-point game. So he knows what he's doing in these situations. The Mavericks just can't take it for granted that things are going to be a whole lot different just because Leonard is not playing. We've got a lot more to get into before this one gets underway. Kevin Gray with an update on Boston and Miami. We'll have the UT Southwestern Recovery Report. And I'll spend a few minutes with Mike Curtis, the new Mavericks beat writer for the Dallas Morning News, previewing this series before the great Mark Stein sits in with us courtside in Los Angeles at the Crypto.com Arena for Game 1 between the Mavericks and the Clippers on the way on the Dallas Mavericks Radio Network. Kroger always gives you savings and rewards on top of our lower than low prices. And when you download the Kroger app, you can enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons. Plus, you can earn fuel points to save up to $1 per gallon at the pump. And with a Boost membership, you'll save even more with double fuel points and free delivery. So you can always save big every day with our savings and rewards. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Savings may vary by state. Restrictions apply. See site for details. Texas, the stampede is running, but it's about to run out. It's the final days of truck month at your Texas Ford dealer. Hurry in for a stampede of savings on Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. Experience the power and capability of Ford Super Duty and Ford F-150. Come join the stampede today and get the best deals on a new Ford truck, official truck of the Dallas Cowboys, based on 1977 to 2023 total sales. After the end of a good fight, you deserve an ice cold reward. Medela is a mark of a fighter. You've earned this rich golden lager with a crisp, refreshing taste. Because you know the bigger the fight, the better the reward. You put in the hours, the energy, the tough labor. You are a fighter. Medela is your reward. 
Medela, the mark of a fight. Drink responsibly. Beer imported by Crown Import, Chicago, Illinois. At Comerica Bank, we believe every business should have equal access to opportunities and resources. That's why we created Comerica Co-Work Spaces, free for any Comerica small business customer. Book an office, access tech, use a meeting room, network with other business owners, and more, all for free. To learn more about how Comerica supports all small businesses, visit Comerica.com slash spaces. Member FDIC, Equal Opportunity Lender, Comerica Co-Work Spaces is available to Comerica customers only. Great medical care, like great basketball, takes teamwork and a commitment to being the very best. At UT Southwestern Medical Center, we're on a mission of healing, discovery, and education, and the ultimate victory is your good health. Fulfilling that mission has made UT Southwestern the number one hospital in DFW for seven straight years, an excellent winning streak. Finding answers, changing lives. UT Southwestern, the official health care partner of the Dallas Mavericks. Go Mavs! TXU Energy is changing the game with Live Your Free, the first and only plan of its kind that automatically adapts each month to give you free energy when you use it most. What if I use the most during the day? Automatically. What if I go weekend warrior? Free energy all weekend, my friend. So the savings change with me. And you never have to change a thing. TXU Energy, energy for everything. Free energy charges and time periods defined in plan EFL. TDU and other build charges apply normally. Visit TXU.com for details. Hey, it's Mark Cuban, and you're listening to the home of the Mavs. Back to Dallas Mavericks Playoffs Basketball on the Mavs Radio Network. Let's check on all the action around the NBA. Here's Kevin Gray on the Mavs Radio Network. Let's check out the Lexus NBA scoreboard. Three other games today in the first round of the NBA playoffs with one already having gone final as the Celtics crushed the Miami Heat by 20, 114 to 94 to take a 1 0 series lead. Jason Taylor had a triple double with 23 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists. Meanwhile, at 6 p.m. tonight, the Pacers will visit the Bucks for game one of their series. No Giannis for Milwaukee. And the Pelicans will face the Oklahoma City Thunder, the number one seed in the West. That game tips off at 8.30 p.m. In other NBA news, the Cavaliers, Timberwolves, Knicks, and Nuggets all win game one of their series as all four teams, home teams, that is, won their opening round games of game one of their series. And that's what's going on right now inside the NBA. Now it's time for our UT Southwestern Recovery Report. For the Mavericks, Tim Hardaway Jr. is, in fact, available as he plays through an illness. And for the Clippers, a big one for them, Kawhi Leonard is out today as he deals with his right knee inflammation. And that's been today's UT Southwestern Recovery Report. Now it's time for Coop's Courtside interview as we hear from Mike Curtis of the Dallas Morning News as the voice of the Mavericks, Chuck Cooper's team, brings us that conversation right now. And we spent a few minutes with uh, the newest member of the Mavericks Media Corps, Mike Curtis, uh, from the Dallas Morning News, making his way down from Detroit. And, boy, didn't you step into a really fun series in a good situation? <laughs> yeah, I'm coming in at a really good time. Um, obviously, Detroit's had its struggles over the past two seasons. And coming into a um, team that is about to make a playoff run, they're looking to win a championship. And um, I think they have the pieces to to position themselves well for a deep postseason run. It's just, it just depends on matchups and obviously um, this first series against the Clippers. What was it like, now again, you only saw the Mavericks um, in in early March, right? But just following them from afar, what, what was your feeling about them pre-trade and then post-trade? Yeah, from afar, I think when people look at this team, they look obviously look at the dynamic between Kyrie and Luka, but um, they're much more than that. But I think since the trade, they've really um, put an emphasis on defense. Obviously, by adding someone like Daniel Gafford and P.J. Washington, that kind of has changed the trajectory of their defense in the front court. Um, and I think Derrick Jones has been playing extremely well, too, even before the trade. So I think if they can kind of when, – when things slow down, like they tend to do during the playoffs, if they can rely on their defense, I think the offense pretty much takes care of itself. Now, hey. I was going to say, one of the things that has really surprised me about well this season uh, has been the seeming shock outside of Dallas that Luke and Kyrie worked. You know, I, I, it's like you almost wonder, like, do they remember their history? Do they remember Weston Goodrich? Do they remember Frazier and Monroe? Uh, you know, um, when uh, when Earl came to New York and they wound up winning a championship. And 
you know, and they forget that even last year, they, while they didn't make the playoffs, they were really good together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it's it's kind of hard for two guys who are particularly ball dominant, dominant like Kyrie and Luka, to sometimes find success because. I don't know if you remember, but obviously back in 2011 mm -hmm. with LeBron and, and D. Wade, they were kind of still figuring out how to play with each other, where each other like the ball. Is it my turn? Is it your turn? And I think Kyrie and Luka, they've had um, just a synergy that they know when somebody's going, let them keep going. And if somebody isn't going, let's give him the ball anyway so he can get going. <laughs> um, so I think like their offense and their continuity has been really good so far. Obviously, no Kawhi today. What effect do you think that has not only on today, but just the, you know, the the unknown that silly comes every day, where the Clippers have to answer questions about is he here or is he not here? Yeah, we just talked to Jason Kidd about um, just going against this Clippers team without Kawhi Leonard. And he said they've been practicing and preparing as if he wasn't going to be playing anyway. Um, I think that puts a lot of emphasis on what Paul George and what we see from James Harden and a lot of the role players from the Clippers. Um, they're they're going to have to be elevated on the offensive end. Um, I think the, from an offensive standpoint, if the Mavericks can go in and pretty much do what they've done all season, it, it's not hard for them to put points on the board. But if they can just play to their instincts and do kind of the small things, um, they'll be able to have the advantage. I, had, I initially picked the Mavericks in six games. Um, we'll see if that comes to fruition because I think anytime you you got a guy, they don't have Kawhi, but they still have guys who are able to get you one game. Um, and if the Mavs can limit that as much as possible, I think they'll be successful. Appreciate the time. Thanks so much, and welcome to town. Thank you so much. All right, there is Mike Curtis, and Kevin, back to you in the studio. Again, thanks to Mike Curtis for joining the voice of the Mavericks. Chuck Cooper seen for his courtside interview. The Mavericks look to begin their NBA playoffs with a bang and try to steal home court advantage from the Clippers while the Clippers look to protect home court in one of the most anticipated first-round series of the Western Conference playoffs. My name is Kevin Gray, and that'll do it for today's pregame show. When we return, we'll send you over to the voice of the Mavericks, Chuck Cooperstein and Mark Stein, who are standing by for the call of today's game. It's the Dallas Mavericks visiting the Los Angeles Clippers in game one of the first round of the Western Conference playoffs live from Los Angeles. The lineups and opening tip off are next on the Dallas Mavericks radio network. Fellas, protect your status as MVP in the bedroom today with BlueChew.com. If you don't already know about BlueChew, you need to. BlueChew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable form and at a fraction of the cost. And now they also have Vardenafil mint-flavored chewables with the active ingredient in Levitra and Staxin, so you can stay hard and fresh. BlueChew's tablets, they're a performance enhancement for the bedroom, and they can help men gain extra confidence when it's time to perform. BlueChew's an online prescription service, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Plus, it ships right to your door in a discreet package. You don't like swallowing pills no problem here blue chews tablets are chewable if you could benefit from a little extra confidence when it's time to perform visit bluechew.com and here's a special deal for our listeners try blue chew free when you use our promo code freak f-r-e-a-k at checkout just pay five dollar shipping that's bluechew.com promo code freak to receive your first month free spring is here that is the time when the market starts to bump up a little bit and if you've got a home to sell this is the time to do it you gotta have the right guy working with you though the right guy is chris waters and waters international realty he is the only agent i would trust and recommend to sell my home and he guarantees an offer for full market value up front on qualified homes rates are lower going into the selling season as we say now is the time maybe you got a growing family or working from home means you need more space maybe you want maximum equity but you're stuck in your home trying to time the market well the time is now and chris is the guy he is the guy i trust and i know you can trust him too but don't take my word for it check out shannon and eula she says i needed a big price on my home to relocate to arizona and retire waters international realty had an incredible 194 point marketing plan and the vision to sell my home for the right price to my shock they had the right buyer over my asking price before officially going on the market now can you believe that if he can do it for her he can do it for you so call the guy i would recommend chris waters and waters international 
International Realty. Reach out to Chris and his team and see if your home qualifies at 214-689-6646 or go to ChristopherWaters.com. That's Waters with two T's, ChristopherWaters.com. Chris Waters International Realty. Are you having pain in your knees, your hips, your back? Did you have a sports injury when you were younger or now you're dealing with arthritis? Hey, Ben and Skin here, and we want to tell you about QC Kinetics, which is a path forward towards living a pain-free life. This is the science of using natural biologics from your own body. Back to Dallas Mavericks Playoffs Basketball on the Mavs Radio Network. Hey, it's Mark Cuban, and you're listening to the home of the Mavs. It's playoff time, Mavs fans. Luka has it. He'll try it over man. He's good! For Dallas Mavericks Playoff Basketball on the Mavs Radio Network. Pass blocked and stolen by Irving. Left side feet, Josh Green flying to the rim and dunking. Now let's go courtside. Kyrie pulling up for three. He hits over Rivers. Here's the voice of your Dallas Mavericks, Chuck Cooperstein. And welcome to the playoffs. Game one. Opening round, Western Conference playoff series for the third time in five years. It's the Mavericks and the Los Angeles Clippers. Alongside Mark Stein, I'm Chuck Cooperstein. A pleasure to be with you for what, Mark, we expect to be a very long series again between these two very familiar rivals. Familiar in a way, but also it is new just because so many of the personalities have changed. And there are some great first-round matchups all over the league, Chuck, honestly. But I think around the league people have their eyes on this one as much as any first round series you could name and the Mavericks are coming into this series in as good a shape as possible 16 wins in 18 games before they shut it down for the final two games and they're fully healthy which has been a rare occurrence for them this year too and the Clippers are not fully hit healthy, the light obviously button? with no on, hit Kawhi the light Leonard button. in this Subscribe game too. one Join and it's been trending this way I don't think people are surprised we've it was always going to be unlikely that Kawhi Leonard, we haven't seen him since the end of March. He has not played a single minute in April. So to ask him with no contact to come out here and play a game one, especially with what they ask him to do, not realistic. Texas Ford dealer, key to the game today. I think if you ask coaches, they would say, is it the rebounding margin? Is it the turnover game? How they defend Luka, not to me. For me, it's schematics. It's not schematics. For me, it is mindset. The Mavericks are, they have a real opportunity here now to beat this Clipper team with no Kawhi Leonard. That does add a layer of pressure on this Mavericks team. This is a huge opportunity that they need to seize, and they've got to win this game one. Time now for the Lexus starting lineups, and let's have the Mavericks introduce themselves. Derek Jones Jr., 6'6", six, six, UNLV. P.J. Washington, 6'7", University of Kentucky. Daniel Gafford, 6'10", Arkansas. Kyrie Irving, 6'2", guard, Duke University. Luka Doncic, 6'7", Slovenia. The Mavericks coached by Jason Kidd in his third season, second time in three years. The Mavericks have won 50 games. They won 52 two years ago when they reached the Western Conference Finals, 50 and 32 this year as the number five seed. The L.A. Clippers coached by Tyron Lue in his fourth season here, his eighth season overall, the fourth seed at 51 and 31, and they will start this line. Of the forwards, Paul George, 6'8", his 14th year from Fresno State, 22.6 points, 5.2 rebounds and Amir Coffey starting in place of Kawhi Leonard today in his fifth year 6-7 out of Minnesota 6.6 .6 points but in 13 games this year as a starter he averaged nearly 12 points a game and shot 48 percent from the floor 38 percent from three he beats the Zubats as the center seven feet his eighth year from Bosnia 11.7 points and 9.2 rebounds in the backcourt Terrence Mann 6-5 his fifth year from Florida State 8.8 points 3.4 rebounds and James Harden 6-5 in his 15th year from Arizona State 16.6 points 5.1 rebounds eight and a half assists the scoring total for Harden his fewest in a season since 2011 in his second year in the NBA when he was coming off the bench for the Oklahoma City Thunder and playing against the Mavericks in the Western Conference Finals that year it's going to be real interesting to see just what, how the offensive distribution works out now for the Clippers with no Kawhi Leonard. But they certainly have a lot of capable scorers even without him. And let's not forget, 
They played the whole month of April without him. They posted some good wins without him. So I think they have a reasonable amount of confidence coming in here that they can get through a game or even two without their true leader. The Mavericks today in their white uniforms with the royal blue numbers, navy blue letters and trim around the shoulders and waist. Dallas written across the chest. They'll shoot at the basket to our right. The Clippers in their blue uniforms with the white numbers and letters. Clippers written across the chest. Red stripe around the left side of the waist and down the left side. And a white stripe around the right side of the waist and down the right side with their logo at the bottom of the pants. They'll shoot to our left. The officials today, David Guthrie, his 100th playoff game in his 19th season. Ed Malloy, 137 playoff games in his 22nd season. And Carl Lane, his 15th playoff game in his 13th season. We're glad you're with us, and away we go in Los Angeles, and the Mavericks win the tip. As Doncic will be played by man to start at the bottom of the jump circle. Looking for Derek Jones to screen, he does, and then slips out of it. Kyrie comes over to screen, they get the switch with Coffee. He'll step back and take the three, it rims the basket, and Zubats with a rebound for the Clippers. Should also note Dirk Nowitzki right at courtside near the Clippers bench. <laughs> Harden on the right side of the floor, just over the midcourt line, played by Washington. Interesting matchup here. Comes the right side. Pocket pass to Zubats in the lane. Through the lane. George left corner three. Off the back rim. No good offensive rebound. Man from the weak side. Nobody put a body on him. Out to Coffee. They leave him alone and he hits the three. That's what I was talking about their confidence. Amir Coffee has had an expanded role with this team. He's ready to step into this role. First points of the series belong to the Clippers. Here's Irving in the lane against Coffee. Turn around from the dotted line around and it falls out. The rebound taken by Harden. Here it comes Harden up the right side, play by Washington, cuts to his left as he accelerates into the lane, pumps twice, can't shoot. Out to the left, Coffee against Irving, and gets into him, and Irving blocked the shot, rebound off the hands of Zubats, picked up by Irving. Bounce pass right to Doncic, screened by Gafford, solid screen. Now to the right lane, got all the way to the rim to lay it up and in, and man, what a screen Gafford set to free up Luka. Luka looks incredibly comfortable debuting his Luka threes. <laughs> for the first time. At the left wing, I knew you were such a shoe guy. <laughs> left wing Harden, down low, Zubats against Gafford. They bump in the block into the lane and a whistle. And a foul on the floor and it's gonna be on Gafford call for the reach in. I wish I was the shoe guy that I <laughs> pretend to be Chuck, but no, I was just furnished, furnished a little info about Lucas' shoe plans before this one. <laughs> the Clippers inbound from the right sideline, the foul line extended, a minute and 40 into the game. And the Clippers with a 3-2 lead. As Harden will lob it in to Zubats. Weaving with George to his right. Got by George. Euro steps around Gafford. Goaltending on Gafford as George got it up on the board. The Clippers 5 and the Mavericks 2. As the inbound from Irving to Jones. And Derek Jones will put it back in Kyrie's hands. He'll bring it across the line on the right. Played by Coffey. As they put a big on a small, here's a pocket pass to Gafford, and good job by Harden to reach in as Gafford on his way to the basket, knocked it away out of bounds. And that's again where, you know, these teams, we've mentioned it before, have not played since late December. The Clippers have never seen Gafford as a Maverick. Luka looking baseline right into Gafford off the right of the lane. Luka circling back around. They cut back door instead to Kyrie, who did not have control of the ball going up, and a foul call against the Clippers. It's Paul George who gets called for the foul. Gafford with quite the bounce pass there. I don't think the Clippers were expecting that. Well, that's one thing that we actually saw quite a bit of, Mark, toward the end of the season with Gafford getting up with a high post and being a passer there and being an effective passer there, too. Shows his comfort level on this team, how quickly he has found it. Well, Kyrie on the line, and frankly, I'm surprised this is a shooting foul. It never looked like he had control of the basketball when he was touched. The free throw here is good. Kyrie, 25.6 points, 5 rebounds, 5.2 assists. He and Luka becoming just the third backcourt in NBA history to average 25, 5, and 5 in a season. And you know it's it would be national news when Kyrie Irving misses a free throw. You expect him to make every single one. So let's see. Hopefully I have not jinxed him here. Seventh in the NBA in free throw shooting at 90.5%. And the free throw is up, and it's good. The Clippers five and the Mavericks four, two minutes into game one. 
as Paul George will bring it up for the Clippers against Derek Jones. Scoops it to the left to Coffee, left sideline, hard. And across the way to Mann at the top of the arc, back left to Harden. Down low, Zubats against Gafford as they bump. He got himself in deep and then goes over his right shoulder with the left hand and able to finish it. it can't get more, can't get more, much more impressive inside than Zubats looked there against Gafford. Luka to his right, played by Zubats on the switch. Measures him, steps back, no. Put it on the floor, now steps back. Leans in, kick it right corner to Washington. Back to Luka, 45 degree angle. Hook it back out to Irving to the right. Washington for three, he hits. Spectacular ball movement by the Mavericks. The first playoff shot of P.J. Washington's career. All net corner three. Game tied at seven, 245 in. Zubats out top on the big handoff to Coffee, Right corner to Mann against Luka. Picks it up now to Zubats again. Right block this time. Backs him down along the baseline. And now with the left hand again, able to score. He was not in the best position there, did not have the best angle, but able to put it home. To Two put the very Clippers. confident move from Zubac. Nine to seven. Clippers up. Luka pull up over man for three. That's no good. Missed his first two. And Zubac with the rebound. Here comes George down low. Man inside of Luka. Pumps and draws the foul. And Daniel Gafford has just picked up his second foul. As Dodge, it's a little late getting back there, and Terrence Mann made him pay for that, and that'll get Derek Lively off the bench. With Lively having been injured in the Houston game a couple of weeks ago, missed the final four games of the regular season. As Mann hits the first one, but uh, his presence, Mark, from game one of this season has just been so important to this team and it's going to be really important in this series. And everything that he's had to deal with on and off the floor, obviously the passing of his mother right before the end of the regular season. I'm in awe of how this young man has handled everything as a 20-year-old rookie. Two free throws for Terrence Mann. The Clippers in 11-7 lead. Kyrie along the right side. And now played by Mann. He'll drive it, pull up right of the lane. That's short and the rebound to Mann. Here comes Mann, two on two against Jones, into Jones, met by Washington, high off the glass, no good. The rebound taken by Lively. Good defense on that two on two. Here comes Irving, left corner Jones, along the baseline, spinning on Paul George. Back out to Luka, left wing, he'll drive, met by George. Out to Jones, right to Washington, catch and shoot, three is short, and the rebound to Coffey. Steps through the double team of Washington and Dodgers. Here comes the... Clippers with George, right of the lane, turned back by Washington, and out beyond the arc to near half court. Four minutes gone, Clippers up 11 to seven. Chest pass left, Harden against Doncic, drives to his right, bounce pass in the dunker spot, floated by Zubats is good, and Zubats with a presence here early in the game with six of LA's 13, and the Clippers with the last six to make it 13 to seven. Top of the arc, here comes Irving to the left, to Washington on the drive, and he'll shoot the floater, and he hits it from eight along the left baseline. Great sign for the Mavericks early that P.J. Washington, being asked to do so much on this team in his first playoff game, hits the corner three, and now a running floater. Great Here comes start. Harden up the right side. Doncic wants him to go baseline. He will go baseline. Met by Lively. Through the lane, finds Coffey. Out left wing, catch and shoot. Paul George for three. It's good. And Jason Kidd will take the first time out of game one. The Clippers off to a hot start. Five of eight from the floor. The Mavericks are just two of eight. And L.A. with the lead. It's 16 to nine with 7 8 remaining in the first quarter on the Dallas Mavericks radio network. After the end of a good fight, you deserve an ice cold reward. Medela is the mark of a fighter. You've earned this rich golden lager with a crisp, refreshing taste. Because you know the bigger the fight, the better the reward. You put in the hours, the energy, the tough labor. You are a fighter. Medela is your reward. Medela, the mark of a fighter. Drink responsibly. Beer imported by Crown Import, Chicago, Illinois. At In N Out, our hamburgers are made with the highest quality ingredients. Made fresh and by hand. Made with a smile to put a smile on your face. Made for special occasions or no occasion at all. Made with gratitude for every customer we get to serve. Most of all, every hamburger, cheeseburger, and double double is made to order just for you. That's what 
I'm going to let you in on a secret. You never have to pay overdraft fees again when you're banking through Chime. That's right. Chime is changing the game. Chime has no monthly fees, and with SpotMe, you get fee-free overdraft on debit card purchases. Now that's banking that has your back. SpotMe eligibility requirements and limits apply. Go to Chime.com for details. Chime is a financial technology company, not a bank. Banking services provided by the Bancorp Bank or Stride Bank, N.A., members FDIC. Texas, the stampede is running, but it's about to run out. It's the final days of Truck Month at your Texas Ford dealer. Hurry in for a stampede of savings on Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. Experience the power and capability of Ford Super Duty and Ford F-150. Come join the stampede today and get the best deals on a new Ford truck, official truck of the Dallas Cowboys, based on 1977 to 2023 total sales. Hey, it's Mark Cuban, and you're listening to the home of the Mavs. Back to Dallas Mavericks playoffs basketball on the Mavs radio network. A great approach and a great mentality and, and be prepared for uh, war, you know, metaphorically, right? Just, um, you know, it's the, it's the hardest, uh, most difficult time uh, to win ball games because, you know, you know the other team well, you know their tendencies, their habits, and after game one is pretty much adjustments and, you um, uh, just go into the internal um, kind of layer where you're you're just trying not to get too ahead of yourself. You're trying to take one game at a time, one minute at a time. So you just got to be balanced, stay focused, limit the distractions, and um, just do what you've been doing since you were a kid and have fun doing it. So The key to playoff success from Kyrie Irving. Today's Dallas Morning News quote of the game. 7.08 to play first quarter. Mark Stein, Clippers off to a really good start. Six of nine from the floor. And they've gotten the ball down low to Zubats, whom in the past in these series, the Mavericks have taken advantage of. Zubats the one doing the damage early with six points, and he got Daniel Gafford out of the game with two fouls. Yeah, the Mavs have only gotten Zubats into one switch so far where he ends up way out high on Luka Doncic, his friend. But that is Zubats' <laughs> nightmare scenario. Luka didn't cash that three, and you're right. Zubac has been very sharp here early. So Derrick Jones will inbound for the Mavericks, shooting to our right. Kyrie comes and gets the inbound pass. And now Terrence Mann will play him from three-quarter quarters. He comes up the left sideline. Looking for the stagger to the right. Kyrie goes that way. Coffee fights over the screen. Now to Luka against Mann. Bounces to Lively. Left of the circle against Zubac. Kyrie overplayed by Mann. Luka comes and gets it. Mann stays with him. Shot clock down to four. Still outside the arc. Now goes on the move. Trying to lean in. Can't do it. From the elbow. Hits the shot. Against the clock. The Clippers could not have played that better defensively. And you know what, Chuck? Luka might have gotten his rhythm right. Going into that timeout, he banked in a 75-footer right before the timeout. I think that actually helped get Here's it sharp. Harden straddle the three-point line. Right of the circle. Knocked away by Washington. Harden chases down at the hash mark. Seven to shoot. Along the sideline toward the corner. Pumping, can't shoot. The Zubats with two and one. Not looking. Now does get it away in time. That's no good. Short dodge. It's the rebound. 16 to 11. Clippers with the lead. Luka left off of Lively. Keeps the dribble. On the drive through the lane to Jones. Right baseline drive. And he'll hang in the lane. Bank it up. Rolls off. And the rebound taken by Man of the Clippers. Up the right side. And we'll slow it up. Behind him to Harden and left to Paul George. Against Luka one-on-one. -on -one. George between his legs, right to left, toward the baseline. Help from Lively. Down low, Zubac, and score it with a foul. And a chance of a three-point play. And again, the damage coming from Zubac all around the rim. They got the switch that they wanted, and is with Kyrie Irving underneath the basket. Yeah, Kyrie Irving's going to do a lot of things for the Dallas Mavericks, stopping Zubac inside at the rim. Obviously not part of his job description. Zubats for the season, third in the league in field goal percentage at 64.9%. Of course, Daniel Gafford, number one, at 72.5%. And a 72% free throw shooter short there. And Washington with the rebound for the Mavericks, who trail 18 to 11 with 5.45 remaining in the first quarter. To Lively, left of the circle. Now to Luka, left wing. On the move to his right against Harden. Lost his balance, got it back, but couldn't shoot. Lobs it back out to Irving with seven to shoot. Against Mann, left wing. And will shoot over Mann off the bounce for three. It's no good. George the rebound. Kyrie 0 of 3. 
Here comes Harden up the right side against Lively. Stop and go on the blow by through the lane to a wide open coffee left corner three. No good. And the rebound of the weak side taken by Irving of the Mavericks. Here comes Kyrie accelerating then stopping. Knocked away by George. Got it back. Backs up on the dribble, chest pass left to Doncic. With a screen from Lively at the left side, Luke will go that way. And will step back, and a challenge three is no good. The rebound, and a loose ball foul against Maxi Kleba, having checked in the game in the last dead ball. Zubats got that rebound. So Kleba in the game to replace Derek Jones. That's who's in and who's out. Brought to you by In-N-Out Burger. That's what a hamburger is all about. As Kleba picks up the Mavericks' third team foul. Dallas is 4 of 13 to start the game. The Clippers 7 of 12. Harden, solid screen by Mann. Freed him up against Washington on the drive. Banked it, missed a good challenge by Lively there. And through the traffic, Doncic with the rebound for the Mavericks. Yeah, I think Lively got a piece of that one. Here is Doncic to his left. Keeps the dribble into the lane. Draws the foul. Banked it, missed it. It'll go to the line. Luka Doncic realizing this team struggling offensively off to a slow start. So he's trying to take charge now and make things happen himself. Right into the teeth of three defenders there, but earns his trip to the line. Well, most importantly, that foul called on Paul George, and that's his second foul. So Doncic will go to the line to shoot. 78.6% on 8.7 free throw attempts per game. You know, Mark, we always wondered... What it would be like if Luka was just a league average free throw shooter and a league average three-point shooter I think we found the answer this year and that's the thing when he's got the three ball working He really becomes Just near impossible to guard and you hear that roar now for Russell Westbrook Checking into the game and that's the thing about the Clippers Chuck They actually have two elite six men with Norman Powell and Russell Westbrook who has really become like the heartbeat for this team energy wise they're 45 and 23 when Westbrook was in uniform in the regular season so interesting to see him as now an energy guy first foul shot by Luca good second one also good six first quarter points for him and the Clippers with an 18 13 lead with 439 remaining in the quarter as Westbrook will bring it up the Clippers shoot to our left at the bottom of the jump circle to Harden Play by Washington, screen right by Coffey, the switch by Luka, on to Harden, backs up on the dribble, with nine to shoot. In and out, to his left, turns the corner, kick it right corner, and they'll take Westbrook for three, it's good. And that's a shot for Mark, you just gotta give him, because he's just not reliable out there. Harden, Westbrook, backcourt, turning back the clock. Here's Luka on the move, left elbow, can't shoot, left side, Kleba back to Luka. Against Amir Coffey, the left wing. Right up into his chest, goes over the top to Kleba, touch it out to Exum on the drive, it'll shoot the runner and hit it from eight feet just inside the right of the lane. Dante Exum puts the Mavericks back to within six at 21-15. 350 remaining in the first. Harden, right wing over Luka for three, and he hits it. Well, the Clippers are hot to start. They are nine of 15 from the floor and four of six from three as they lead it. 24 to 15. Luca out top. Exum right to Kleba. They'll leave him alone. He'll take the three. That's too hard. And Coffey with the rebound for LA. No doubt. Clippers wanted Maxi Kleba taking that shot. And here comes Harden up court. Offensive foul on Coffey for the illegal screen as he sent Washington flying. In the backcourt. PJ Washington gets himself in great position. Takes the hit and no question offensive foul the first turnover for either team this afternoon I mean the Clippers have been super sharp out of the gate and they are not known for loving a 1230 start in LA But they they're locked in well, they've been pretty good in matinees this year six and five the Mavericks four and two in matinee games including last Sunday which really shouldn't have counted and now Luka with a three-pointer off a pull-up from the left wing with Zubac in the vicinity nine for Doncic nine of Dallas is 18 Westbrook in the lane right corner coffee out to the wing trying to drive it on Luka with the left hand met by Lively who swats the shot into the hands of Luka ahead to Hardaway in the game up the right side and then it knocked away by Harden out of bounds and with that a timeout by Tyron Lue and the Clippers with 2.54 remaining in the first quarter. Mavericks not shooting it great, just 6 to 17, but hanging around 24 to 18. LA leads it in game one on the Dallas Mavericks radio network. 
Hey, Mavs fans, when you're shopping for your game day essentials, don't forget to pick up a bag of Ruffles potato chips. Each chip is cooked to crispy, crunchy perfection with the classic Ruffles ridges you know and love. Try some of our Ruffles flavors, including original cheddar and sour cream and flame and hot cheddar and sour cream. Ruffles is proud to be the official chip of the NBA and an official sponsor of the Dallas Mavericks. Ruffles, choose the flavor that speaks to you. Great medical care, like great basketball, takes teamwork and a commitment to being the very best. At UT Southwestern Medical Center, we're on a mission of healing, discovery, and education, and the ultimate victory is your good health. Fulfilling that mission has made UT Southwestern the number one hospital in DFW for seven straight years, an excellent winning streak. Finding answers, changing lives. UT Southwestern, the official health care partner of the Dallas Mavericks. Go Mavs! All right, Mavs fans. Give it up for your Raisin Cane's starting lineup. At center, fresh from the Cane's kitchen, it's hand better cook to order chicken fingers. The Cane's secret weapon, tangy cane sauce. And always ready in the crucial supporting role, Texas Toast. The perfect backcourt partner, it's crinkle cut fries. All season long, enjoy the all star lineup at your Raisin Cane's. Crown partner of the Dallas Mavericks, Raisin Cane's chicken fingers. One line. Go, Mavs. The NBA playoffs are here. And we all know playoff mode is a thing. Listen to the evidence. Playoff crowds are going wild. Playoff players are lighting up the court. Even your speakers are in playoff mode. OK, we'll take it down a notch, but just a notch, because this is the turn it up to 11 NBA playoffs. Playoff mode is clearly a thing. The NBA playoffs presented by Google Pixel continue on ABC, ESPN, TNT, and NBA TV. Hey, it's Mark Cuban, and you're listening to the home of the Mavs. Back to Dallas Mavericks playoffs basketball on the Mavs radio network. I'm Kevin Gray here at the Modelo Sports Desk to get you caught up on some NBA playoff action. The Celtics crushed the Heat by 21, 14 to 94 to take a 1 0 series lead as Jason Tatum had a triple double with 23 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists in the victory. Still to come tonight, the Indiana Pacers will visit the Milwaukee Bucks. There's no Giannis for Milwaukee. That game will tip off at 6 p.m. And the Pelicans visit the number one seed, Oklahoma City Thunder, in the West. That game tips off at 8 30 p.m. Let's go back to Mark Stein and Chuck Cooperstein. 2.54 remaining in the first quarter. It'll be L.A. ball. The Clippers actually challenged that last play prior to the timeout, saying that uh, it uh, should have been called off of Tim Hardaway, and it was. So the Clippers will have it up 24-18 as we pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Dallas Mavericks radio network. Fort Worth, Dallas. This is Luka Doncic. Listen out to 97 1 The Freak. Hit the like button. The home of the Mavs. Oh, 97 the like button. The Freak. Subscribe to the ultimate Join summer the experience with hoop, dance, and gaming camps with a variety of dates and DFW locations to choose from. There's no better way to start your kids' summer. Visit Mavs.com slash academy today. Clippers, 9 out of 16 from the floor, 4 of 6 from 3. The Mavericks to 6 of 17 and 2 of 8 from behind the line. As Coffee for L.A., left to Norman Powell, left to right on the drive, met by Doncic, backs up on his dribble, crosses over right to left, at the nail, pulls up for the jumper, front-rimmed it, and Doncic with the rebound. 2.35 remaining in the first quarter. As Luka walks it through the center circle, lively screen right, they show and then back out of it. Doncic against Zubats on the switch. Now we'll drive him and wrap around left corner to Exum. He'll drive and shoot the runner left of the lane off the back rim. And Zubats with his fourth rebound of the first quarter to go along with eight points. Here's Westbrook on the push and out to his right to the trailing Zubats. And he'll flip it up and in. Boy, what a first quarter for Ivica Zubats. Not the storyline we were expecting coming in here. This was supposed to be about the Mavs getting their chance to avenge two, pla two past playoff defeats. Luka keeps the dribble, left corner Kleba, hands back to Luka, left wing, fakes the shot, has Westbrook on his hip, fakes the pass, now will take left elbow, pop and hit it. An 11 point first quarter for Doncic. He's got 11 of the Mavericks, 20, it's 26 to 20. Harden against Exum, high screen by Coffey, then moved away from that screen, and pulls up for three and he hits it over Luka Doncic. Well, the Clippers shooting the lights out of it here to start the game. 
Their fifth three of the first quarter in seven attempts. Luca pumps, can't shoot. Good defense by Westbrook. Out to Hardaway and back to Luca. Nine to shoot. A minute 20 remaining of the quarter. Against Coffee on the switch. As he measures him, step back, take the three. That's too hard. Rebound is tipped by Exum, controlled by Westbrook. Ahead for Coffee. That's too far. Kleva grabs the ball and a loose ball foul. Going to be called on Amir Coffee. Yeah, Harden is really orchestrating things. The Clippers are getting exactly what they want. And sharp, it's just the, the word that keeps coming to your mind when you see how well the Clippers have started here. Harden, absolute butter from three twice already. Man comes back in the game, and here we'll play Zubats. Uh, Coffee also leaves. Mason Plumley has checked in. The veteran from Duke at the backup center as Kyrie in to replace Luka here at the end of the first quarter as well with a minute to play. Lively at the top of the yard. Duke on Duke against Plumley. On the handoff to Exum. Bobbles but recovers. Backs up on his dribble against Powell. Now attacks him. Euro steps him. Throw it up for Lively. That's tipped away by Plumley. And Plumley with the steal. Turnover for the Mavericks. Their second. Up the right side comes Harden. To his left. Got away from Exum. And on the run with the left hand. It's good. James Harden ultra locked in to get this thing started. He's got eight, and the Clippers with an 11-point lead at 31 to 20. Exum left wing, looking for Irving, overplayed by Mann, and coming back to get it is Irving. Still way outside the arc with seven to shoot, 22 in the quarter to his left, and a foul against Harden. And that'll put Kyrie on the line with that being the second foul in the last two minutes. Yeah, Kyrie reacted too quick. The Clippers tried to trap him there, but he outfoxed them to get to the line. So Irving, 0 of 3 from the floor, his two points have come from the free throw line. And Luka is 4 of 8. The rest of the team is just 3 of 12 from the floor. And I think he's seen at least eight different defenders for those eight shot attempts. They are switching a lot, and every Clipper taking a turn on Luka Doncic to this point. First one from Kyrie is good. Did you hit the like button? And one Come more on, hit the like button. And subscribe too. In the Join the family. Mavericks this year, when they trailed by 10, won 13 times. And Kyrie's second one is good. 10 point deficits nowadays. I think we treat them like we used, to, <laughs> we used to talk about 20 point deficits five, six years ago. Up the right side comes Westbrook with the shot clock off to end the first quarter. Into the hands of Harden, play by Kleba, 45 feet from the basket, down to nine seconds as Harden pivots and squares up with six, five, four, three. Step back, deep right side, three, hit it! With 1.2 seconds remaining, and what a first quarter for James Harden as the horn sounds, and the Clippers will take a 12-point lead for the second. They shot 62% in the first quarter, 6 of 8 from 3, including 3 of 3 from Harden, who led them with 11. Zubats with 10 points and 4 rebounds. Doncic with 11 to lead the Mavericks, who shot just 35%. After one, in game one, the Clippers 34, the Mavericks 22 on the Dallas Mavericks radio network. TXU Energy is changing the game with Live Your Free, the first and only plan of its kind that automatically adapts each month to give you free energy when you use it most. What if I use the most during the day? Enjoy free energy all day, every day. What if I suddenly become a night owl? Your nights are free automatically. What if I go weekend warrior? Free energy all weekend, my friend. So the savings change with me. And you never have to change a thing. TXU Energy. Energy for everything. Free energy charges and time periods defined in plan EFL. TDU and other bill charges apply normally. Visit TXU.com for details. Kroger always gives you savings and rewards on top of our lower than low prices. And when you download the Kroger app, you can enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons. Plus, you can earn fuel points to save up to $1 per gallon at the pump. And with a Boost membership, you'll save even more with double fuel points and free delivery. So you can always save big every day with our savings and rewards. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Savings may vary by state. Restrictions apply. See site for details. Texas, the stampede is running, but it's about to run out. 
It's the final days of truck month at your Texas Ford dealer. Hurry in for a stampede of savings on Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. Experience the power and capability of Ford Super Duty and Ford F-150. Come join the stampede today and get the best deals on a new Ford truck, official truck of the Dallas Cowboys. Based on 1977 to 2023 total sales. At Comerica Bank, we're creating opportunity for entrepreneurs to stop dreaming and start doing. For gig workers to become business owners. For small businesses to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big dogs. At Comerica Bank, we're creating opportunity beyond bank accounts. We're providing free office space, free advertising, free competitive research, and more to help small businesses do more with less. To learn more, visit Comerica.com slash succeed. Member FDIC, equal opportunity lender, offers available to Comerica small business customers only. Terms apply. Back to Dallas Mavericks Playoffs Basketball on the Mavs Radio Network. Hey, it's Mark Cuban, and you're listening to the home of the Mavs. Chuck Cooperstein and Mark Stein at the Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles. Start of the second quarter with the Clippers leading the Mavericks 34-22. Frankly, it couldn't have gone much better for the Clippers, and it did not go particularly well for the Mavericks, other than the fact that Doncic was able to get his usual first quarter scoring. Well, few players in this league face as much scrutiny about how they perform in the playoffs than James Harden. That's especially the case now that he's here with the Clippers, but he started this game in playmaker mode, playing at his pace, getting other guys involved, then started being aggressive himself offensively, and his shot looks terrific. Fantastic. Well, we're we're it, underselling that, it. You know, we, it we've seen it from Harden, though, early in series. Like last year against Boston in game one, he had 42, I think, and game four, he had 45. It's usually late in the series where he has struggled. We'll see if we ever get to that point in this series, but so far early on, he's been terrific, and Zubats with the physical presence down low, outplaying the Mavericks bigs, 10 points and four rebounds as the Clippers happen to start the second quarter, shooting to our left with Westbrook, accelerates and gets the win and dunks it on the double pump. He flew past everybody, including ultimately Kyrie Irving. And you can just see, you can hear by the reaction that anything Westbrook does, the fans feed off him too here. Doncic right back in here at the start of the second quarter. This is an 18-9 run for L.A. Going back to the end of the first. Left corner Kyrie out to Luka for three. Off the left of the rim. And Paul George with two fouls back in the game for L.A. Up the right side. High screen by Mann to try and free him up against Jones. Got to the nail for the pull-off. It's no good. Wide right. Doncic the save into Washington. It's Doncic, Washington, Irving, Lively, and Jones for the Mavericks. And Jones in the left corner for three, and that's no good. Rebound lively underneath, can't follow it home. Way too hard, and Plumley with a rebound. Outlet right. Here comes George against Luca. Turns him back. Lost his balance, been able to keep the dribble. And now way outside on the right. At the hash mark. Will throw it over the top to Norman Powell. Run off the line by Kyrie. He'll shoot the runner, and he hits it from 10. Norman Powell with his first points. And the Clippers up by 16. Washington right wing three, no good. Derrick Jones got a hand on the rebound, but lost it. Picked up by George. Here comes George backing up on the dribble against Lively. Middle of the floor, chest pass, left corner man. Left baseline drive and coming up the other side. Missed it. Plumley the offensive rebound, put it back in. And Jason Kidd's got to take a timeout. And this second quarter has not started well. Clippers score the first six of the quarter. It's an 11 to two run overall. And it is a 22 to nine run going back to the end of the first quarter. 10 17 remaining in the first half. Clippers 40, the Mavericks 22 in game one on the Dallas Mavericks radio network. Texas, the stampede is run, but it's about to run out. It's the final days of truck month at your Texas Ford dealer. Hurry in for a stampede of savings on Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. Experience the power and capability of Ford Super Duty and Ford F-150. Come join the stampede today and get the best deals on a new Ford truck, official truck of the Dallas Cowboys. Based on 1977 to 2023 total sales. I'm going to let you in on a secret. You never have to pay overdraft fees again when you're banking through Chime. That's right. Chime is changing the game. 
Chime has no monthly fees, and with SpotMe, you get fee-free overdraft on debit card purchases. Now that's banking that has your back. SpotMe eligibility requirements and limits apply. Go to Chime.com for details. Chime is a financial technology company, not a bank. Banking services provided by the Bancorp Bank or Stride Bank, N.A., members FDIC. Hey, Dallas. Regardless of the weather, there's one part of my daily routine that stays tropical year-round. Celsius Tropical Vibe with a delicious combination of star fruit and pineapple. Mmm. Dallas is fueled by Celsius Essential Energy Drinks. Can you pull a fire truck? Join Curing Kids Cancer and the Dallas Fire Department on Saturday, April 27th at 11 a.m., rain or shine, to pull for a child battling cancer. Sign up today at curingkidscancer.org. Buffalo Wild Wings is now open in Grapevine, and the Speakeasy will broadcast live there this Thursday from 2 to 6 p.m. to celebrate. Stay after for a special draft broadcast with Jeff and KT. It's the perfect place for lunch, happy hour, and to watch the first round of the draft. It's also Boneless Thursday, so Boneless Wings are BOGO free. Also, you'll have the chance to win free wings for a year. The Speakeasy and Special Draft Night broadcast, live from the new Buffalo Wild Wings in Grapevine this Thursday, 315 West State, 114 Highway in Grapevine. Hey, it's Mark Cuban, and you're listening to the home of the Mavs. Back to Dallas Mavericks Playoffs Basketball on the Mavs Radio Network. Hey, Mavs fans, secure your spot on the Club Maverick wait list for access to season tickets, exclusive events, and playoff perks once available. Multiple plans are offered, so save your spot in line for the ultimate Mavs experience. Join the wait list today at Mavs.com slash Waitlist. Well, the Mavericks have taken the standing eight count proverbially uh, with the Clippers on a 9 nothing run going back to that last hardened three to end the first quarter. And the Clippers with an 18 point lead and showing no signs of rust after a week away. And the Mavericks, quite frankly, do show some signs of rust here. They've not run their offense crisply. They've not gotten very many clean looks, Mark. Mavericks not named Luka, jo Luka Doncic shooting 3 of 16 from the field here early. And I think we talked about this from the jump that, you know, the Mavs, Kyrie, Ka Kawhi Leonard not playing today put the Mavs in an unusual position. It actually probably keeps a little bit more pressure on them to get off to a good start. And this is the antithesis of that good start. Kyrie Irving will bring it up against Westbrook and bounces to Gafford back in the game. Luka comes around left to right to get it playing pick and roll. And he'll drop it off to Gafford. And he can't finish it because he's fouled by Plumley, who gave him the... Uh forearm across both arms as he tried to dunk it and Luca really could have finished himself there but I think he's trying to get Gafford going there went for the lob instead and now Gafford goes to the line on that contested oop Gafford 67.4 percent from the free throw line this year led the league in field goal shooting at 72 and a half percent the third best percentage in NBA history only exceeded by Mitchell Robinson back in 2020 at 74.2 uh, percent and some guy named Chamberlain. Yeah, how crazy 72. was it to see that stat that the only two players who have ever averaged 10 plus shooting 72 percent from the field Daniel Gafford and Wilt Chamberlain and of course Gafford misses the second free throw after we hyped him up and Westbrook with the rebound for the Clippers 40 to 23 two minutes in second quarter Plumley put it on the floor dribble handoff to George left to right against Derrick Jones crossing left spinning right back to his left spinning had to give it up good defense by Jones now Powell against Jones on the switch pumps can't shoot down to two to George and one against Jones cannot get it away in time hit the shot but too late 24 second violation some great individual yeah, defense played Maverick, by Derrick Jones there. Best Mavericks defensive possession of, of the game to this point. Here comes Irving for the Mavericks. And Gafford right of the jump circle. Luka being overplayed by Westbrook. And Gafford trying to get it to him. Westbrook deflecting the ball to Plumley. Here comes George on the fly. And he's fouled by Washington before he could get himself in the act of shooting. And the Clippers absolutely committed to fronting Luka face guarding him making sure he does not get the ball with momentum or in the positions he wants and Russell Westbrook is feeling himself talking to the crowd this is his role on this team and you have to applaud him for embracing it because there was a lot of skepticism after the Clippers acquired James Harden that Russell Westbrook would be willing to take on this kind of role and he has embraced it Terrence Mann inbound for LA from the right sideline into Plumlee swings to Westbrook 
Westbrook finds George, bounce pass, pick and roll, Plumley to the rim, and rejected by Jones from behind, out of the traffic, Washington has it, against Westbrook, and to the rim, and Westbrook fouls him going up, and now Washington and Westbrook come together in our first skirmish of a series that figures to have more than its fair share before all is said and done. Well, in the first two acts of this trilogy, the Clippers were by far the more physical team. But as we've said, this is a different Mavericks roster. And even though the scoreboard looks ugly right now, down 17 early to the Kawhi leonard list Clippers, the Mavericks have been active at the rim. They are making it more difficult on the Clippers when they go to the bucket. There is a presence that I think the Clippers have already sensed. This is a a new look Mavericks team. They're getting their first taste of it. So PJ Washington on the foul line, 68% average, 12.9 points. But maybe more importantly, Mark, coming down the stretch of the season, the last 11 games, shot 40% from behind the three-point line. They're going to need him to do that as he misses the first foul shot here. Yeah, his first three-pointer looks so beautiful. Since then, shots have been consistently coming up short from P.J. Washington. Well, Ma Mavericks just 2 of 12 from 3, 7 of 24 overall. Second one is on the way and good. The Clippers 40, the Mavericks 24. As Washington will pick up Westbrook full court. And Westbrook across the line on the right. Now diagonally to his left, screen by Plumley. Accelerates and Washington from the backside. Oh, they're going to call a foul. Carl Lane, the outside official, going to call a foul on Washington, saying that he hit Westbrook in the head. In real time, to it did look like there was contact. We'll have to get a better look yeah, at it here. And uh, I think Carl Lane actually got it right. Coming across. Yeah. yeah. Got him on the back of the head. Now, here's Westbrook on the line. Averaged 11 points a game this season. First one is no good. And this is one of the real oddities, Mark, of Russell Westbrook. In the early part of his career, uh, he was an 80% plus free throw shooter. And now in five of the last six seasons, he's not even shot 70% from the foul line. Shot 68.8% this year. And makes one out of two to make it 41-24. Three minutes gone. Second quarter, game one. Irving along the left side. Kleba back in the game. At that last dead ball, he's doubled. Irving is back to Kleba. Irving comes and gets it at half court with 10 to shoot. Drives on Westbrook. Spins left, lost the handle, got it back. Westbrook from behind, knocked it away. Terrific defense by Westbrook. Now Paul George along the left side. Drives on Jones between his legs and pulls up for three. Rims the basket. Rebound. Gafford lost it, and then it went off of Plumley. No, and they'll say... It's going to be Clippers ball. Luca immediately calling for a review. And Jason Kidd looking down his bench. And they will not review this. Baseline left inbound. Tell you, Plumlee's been active also underneath for LA. He finds man, and that's blocked by Jones. Taken down by Luca. Kyrie on the drive and to the rim. Lays it up and in on the double pump, but Plumlee trying to get back. That's that Mavs rim presence. Again, it's just still so new. We've seen it for two months now, but. They, they are just so much better at punishing teams that drive on them. Second block shot. Pass for Mann at the nail. Knocked away by Irving. And he'll pull up for three from the top of the arc. It's short. Rebound run down by Jones to Irving left sideline. Over the top for Luka. Steps back in the right corner for three. It's short. And Plumlee with a rebound. Maverick shooting has just not been there here in the first half. Two eight for 14 from deep. And 8 of 27 overall. And as Westbrook brings it up, Tyron Lou will take a Clippers timeout with 7.56 remaining in the first half of game one. It's the Clippers 41, the Mavericks 26 on the Dallas Mavericks radio network. After the end of a good fight, you deserve an ice cold reward. Medella is the mark of a fighter. You've earned this rich golden lager with a crisp, refreshing taste. Because you know the bigger the fight, the better the reward. You put in the hours, the energy, the tough labor. You are a fighter. Medella is your reward. Medella, the mark of a fighter. Drink responsibly. Beer imported by Crown Import, Chicago, Illinois. Great medical care, like great basketball, takes teamwork and a commitment to being the very best. 
At UT Southwestern Medical Center, we're on a mission of healing, discovery, and education, and the ultimate victory is your good health. Fulfilling that mission has made UT Southwestern the number one hospital in DFW for seven straight years, an excellent winning streak. Finding answers, changing lives. UT Southwestern, the official health care partner of the Dallas Mavericks. Go Mavs! Texas, the stampede is running, but it's about to run out. It's the final days of Truck Month at your Texas Ford dealer. Hurry in for a stampede of savings on Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. Experience the power and capability of Ford Super Duty and Ford F-150. Come join the stampede today and get the best deals on a new Ford truck, official truck of the Dallas Cowboys. Based on 1977 to 2023 total sales. Hey Mavs fans, when you're shopping for your game day essentials, don't forget to pick up a bag of Ruffles potato chips. Each chip is cooked to crispy, crunchy perfection with the classic Ruffles ridges you know and love. Try some of our Ruffles flavors, including original cheddar and sour cream and flaming hot cheddar and sour cream. Ruffles is proud to be the official chip of the NBA and an official sponsor of the Dallas Mavericks. Ruffles, choose the flavor that speaks to you. Hey, it's Mark Cuban, and you're listening to the home of the Mavs. Back to Dallas Mavericks playoffs basketball on the Mavs radio network. I'm Kevin Gray here at the Modelo Sports Desk to get you caught up on the schedule for the rest of today's NBA playoff action. You'll still have the Bucks hosting the Indiana Pacers. That game will tip off at 6 p.m. No Giannis available for the Milwaukee Bucks in game one. And later on tonight, you'll have the New Orleans Pelicans visiting the number one seat Oklahoma City Thunder as that game will tip off at 8.30 p.m in OKC. Let's go back out to Mark Stein and Chuck Cooper seen in Los Angeles. All right, Kevin, uh, Boston already a winner today, a 20-point winner against Miami, and uh, so far, five and a half games uh, into the NBA playoffs, uh, they have not necessarily been particularly competitive, save for the end of the Knicks-Sixers game last night here in Los Angeles. The Clippers a 41-26 lead. Mavericks is one of seven shooting here in the second quarter, just 29% for the game. The Clippers at 55% overall, three out of eight here in the second quarter, 37.5%. The Clippers look to me, though, like a team. Maybe us on the outside, we didn't know until today for sure that Kawhi Leonard wouldn't play, but the Clippers look like they've been very prepared, knew exactly what they would have to do in game one without him, and defensively is where they've been so impressive. This whole group, they are defending the Mavs. Fantastic. Clippers 7-7 seven and seven this year when Kawhi doesn't play. As George has it right of the lane against Derek Jones. Cross court left to Terrence Mann in the game out of the timeout to Powell. Now Westbrook attacking against Kleba and Banks and Kleba changed that shot. Luka takes the rebound off the floor with Plumlee on his hip. And now backs up on his dribble as Gafford went through the lane and turned his ankle. Holding on to his left ankle and trying to get to his feet. Luca against Plumlee, left side of the floor, crossing left to right. He'll try to drive him. He'll hang, he'll float it. It's short, the rebound, and a loose ball foul underneath against the Clippers. Ed Malloy with the call on the baseline, and Norman Powell is called for the foul. Gafford drew the foul, but he is clearly not right. Hobbling away, and he's going to have to come out of the game. Actually, they're trying to, yeah. Derek Lively's headed in for Gafford here. And, uh, Kyrie Irving pointing to the Mavericks bench, saying you got to get somebody in for him. And hopefully it's nothing more than just a matter of getting yourself retaped and being okay but he's gonna hobble right back inside the Mavericks locker room and James Straight Harden back. comes back in the game for LA and Westbrook sits down Luca from the left sideline in the lively and back to Luca chased by man up top lively alone makes the catch goes up and dunks it against Zubats and there's the first time the pick and rolls really work for the Mavericks today First playoff points for Derek Lively. 41-28. Almost five minutes gone, second quarter. Here's Paul George. Slips with the dribble, but recovers. Now to his left. Left corner, man. Watched by Doncic. Puts it on the floor, not looking to shoot. Out to George. At the left side, trap. In the middle to man. No look right side. Escape dribble by Powell. Got it out to Harden for three, and he hits again. And right in his wheelhouse, Mark. Outside the arc, just to the right of the circle. He would have thought that some time on the bench would have cooled him off some. Wasn't he? He just sure didn't look cooled off. Luca at the nail, off one foot. That's in and out. The rebound taken by Powell. Luca now 4 of 11. Make it 4 of 12 from the floor. 
Here comes Harden on the drive and the blow by. The floater, no good. The rebound loose on the floor. Doncic comes out of there with it. Luca left to right, stripped by George. Great play by George. Luca looking for a foul call, not there. Trails the play. Harden right side against Irving. Now Luca hustles back and it's five on five. At the right wing, Harden on the move through the lane. Over the top, Powell hauls it in. Left corner three, no good. And Lively with the rebound for the Mavericks. To dodge, it's 44 28 LA midway through the second. Along the left side, dodge against Mann. Bounces to Kyrie at the left, hash mark against Harden. Jab step, triple threat position. Now Trapp lobs it to Kleba, over the top to Jones. Right baseline drive, met by Zubats, runner off the back rim. Rebound, and a foul against Derrick Jones. As Zubats grabbed the rebound, Jones knocked it away from behind. But the Clippers doing a really good job of making sure that it's others that wind up taking the shots. And it's not so much Luka and it's not so much Kyrie. And Derek Jones, who's got to be able to make those shots in Washington, too. Jones, uh, 0 of 3 from the floor today. The inbound to Harden. And Maxi Kleber will play him initially. Screen by Mann, wide to the left, behind the back to Mann at the top of the arc. Left to Harden against Kleber with a show from Hardaway as well. And then Hardaway backs out. Harden against Kleber, down to six to shoot. Dancing, stepping back, take the three. Foul shooting the three by Kleber. Yeah, Harden's feeling it today. No question. And those are the calls that have been dwindling since the All-Star break. And James Harden hasn't been going to the free throw line as much in the second half of the season. And his numbers have looked pedestrian here as we've moved past the All-Star break. But the way he has started this game, he is going anywhere he wants. He got his teammates involved early and now really taking on the offensive burden with Kawhi Leonard out of the lineup. Well, Dante Exum's checked in now to replace Luka as Harden, outstanding free throw shooter, just under 88%, hits the first one, 15 points for him. That foul on Kleba, his second, the 14th foul against the Mavericks. It has been all L.A. And the second one by Harden is good. He's already four for four from three, so fouling him on a three, not ideal. <laughs> well, one of the things Jason Kidd talked about is one of the Mavericks' keys is making sure the Clippers don't shoot free throws. An excellent free throw shooting team. 82 and a half percent the third best in the NBA and again Harden always among the elite in shooting them Makes all three of them and the Clippers up 19 47 28 Kleba down the left side threw it away behind Irving out of bounds It's a 21 to 8 run for the Clippers over the last Eight minutes plus PJ Washington comes back in to replace Kleba for the Mavericks and man in the Harden Playoff rust is real, Chuck Cooperstein. It sure looks like it. Certainly does. Mavericks in their history have struggled mightily in game one. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. As Harden against Hardaway on the switch with five to shoot, in and out to his right, right of the lane, jumps, shoots, score with a foul on Hardaway and a chance for three. Yeah, this is 2015 James Harden right now. I'm frankly stunned. I thought the Clippers would come out with this kind of resolve and to try to get through a game without without their main guy. And obviously they've been playing without Kawhi Leonard for a while now. But I mean, you're right. I mean, Harden is turning back, legitimately turning back the clock here. Foul shot, good. So 20 for Harden, 11 in the first, 9 in the second. The lead is 22, the biggest of the day for the Clippers at 50 to 28. Irving in the middle of the floor. Trapped outside, has to move backward toward half court. Now a play against Coffee one on one, and will walk into a three pointer, rims out. And George with the rebound, two of 15 for the Mavericks from three. Did you hit the like button? Come on, hit the like button. Hard against Washington. Too. Join playing with his food at the right wing, then backs up to near half court to try to attack. George will set a screen. Switched by Hardaway. That's the switch they want. Hard for three. That's no good. And Irving upstairs for the rebound for the Mavericks. Here comes Irving to the cutting Hardaway underneath, and he missed it. Came up the side from right to left, right there. 
And instead of banking it, tried to flip it in over the rim, and it fell out. It's been that kind of half for the Mavericks. Here's George, right to left. At the nail, in the lane, against Lively. Forced it, missed it. Rebound tipped in by Zubac. Fifty-two to twenty-eight. Nobody was calling this shot. Here's Irving to his left and tried to pass it. Shot a pass blocked by George. Came to Exum back to Irving left corner to Exum left wing against Coffee right to left on the drive off the floor. Way too hard. Just touched the board. Rebound. Twenty-four second violation. Lively got the rebound, but the buzzer went off. Mavs rushing offensively. They look so frantic. This Clippers defense has really shaken this team. And I, I again. <laughs> now, you wouldn't think with guys like Doncic and Irving that your offense could be shaken up. And they have been, clearly so, by the length and the switching of the Clippers defense. And also the strength of uh, Zubats and Plumley inside. And here's Zubats again, right at the rim, missed it. Rebound taken by Lively. A rare miss from in tight by Zubats. Here's Lively behind him to Doncic, right back in the game against Coffee. Screen by Lively. Luka keeps the dribble and will hook it back out beyond the arc to Washington. He'll attack and shoot the runner in the lane way too hard again. Knocked out by Lively, but taken by Mann. One on one against Hardaway. Euro stepped, lost control going up. And Hardaway got the rebound. We'll run it the other way. Hardaway left to right on the drive, and he's short but fouled, and he'll go to the line. Tim Hardaway, who had to travel here on his own ill earlier this week, so did not fly with the team. Spotted in DFW yesterday on a rainy, rainy, <laughs> rainy Saturday back home, but he did make it here. An absolutely miserable day in Dallas Fort Worth yesterday. The foul on Zubots, the fourth against the Clippers, and Hardaway misses the foul shot. Daniel Gafford is back on the Mavericks bench. We don't have an official status report yet, but he is back on the bench. Norman Powell back in for L.A. to replace Paul George. Russell Westbrook back in the game for L.A. as well. This is a deep clipper team. I mean, you... You got Hall of Famers here. You got four Hall of Famers playing on this team. It smacks you in the face when you are actually seeing them, but a lot of options for Ty Lue even without Kawhi Leonard today. Second free throw made, 52-29. 2.35 remaining in the first half. Harden against Washington, screened by Zubots down the right side. Live to Westbrook from the back side, threw it down, and he's got everybody up and going here at Crypto.com. What year is this? 16 for Russell Westbrook. <laughs> here is Luka. Top of the arc, backs up, moving left, pick and roll with Lively, keeps the dribble, will throw it up to Lively, and he couldn't finish it. Everything going wrong for the Mavericks, even when they do run the pick and roll right, they just can't finish it. Powell on the drive, offensive foul, as he put the shoulder into Dante Exum. I mean, the Clippers are so active defensively that every time Luka throws a lob for a dunk, they're contesting those at the rim, and we've just gotten so accustomed to seeing Lively and Gafford throwing down uncontested dunk after uncontested dunk but the Clippers again their activity has been really eye-catching Mavericks just two of 16 shooting here in the second quarter oh of six from three as Doncic with two minutes remaining in the half, screen left by Klebos, check back in for Lively. Luka keeps the dribble at the dotted line, spins, leans in, flopped by Mann, rolls off the rim, rebound to Zubats. Mavs super small now with Moxie Kleba at the five, no Lively or Gafford. Acceleration by Harden, met by Kleba, left corner Westbrook, take the three, off the back rim, rebound, Mann took it away from Doncic and then Luka knocked it away from him from behind. A minute 34 remaining in what has been a disastrous second quarter for the Mavericks. And you can see Jason Kidd searching, trying every different combination he can throw out there, looking for a fivesome that can make something happen. Baseline left inbound for Westbrook. Watched by X and was 11 to shoot. The Powell in the corner. Out to Zubats. Across the way to Harden. Against Washington, move to his right, pull up for three. That one is short. X in the rebound. A minute 25 remaining in the half. 
Here comes Exum up the right side against Powell. Now switched on to by Westbrook. Exum will try to take Westbrook. Can't do it. Left to Kleba. Open for three. Way off. Not close. Rebound taken by Zubats. Here comes Westbrook. A minute five remaining in the half. The Clippers 54, the Mavericks 29. Westbrook across the floor from left to right. Screen by Mann. Westbrook pocket pass to Mann. Knocked away by Exum off of the face of Zubats and picked up by Washington. To Irving, left corner Luka inside the arc. Cross court right wing Washington. Touch it, Exum. Right corner three. No good. Rebound. Westbrook took it away from Doncic. Here comes Westbrook. Accelerating left to right and got to the rim. Scoops it home. Wanted a foul call and he might have had a case for that. Dallas 2 for 17 from the three-point line. 23% overall. Luka behind them to Kyrie. Left to Washington. Will take the three. That's no good. Rebound tipped and missed by Kleba, but got the rebound. Back to Exum. Left side to Kleba in the left corner. Back out to Exum with 13 to shoot. Five-second difference. Shot clock to game clock. He'll drive. Get to the rim. Can't finish it. Foul, though, by Terrence Mann, and he will go to the line. The Mavericks are 9 of 40 from the floor. 9 of 40 for a team that shot 48% during the regular season. They are 2 of 20 here in the second quarter. 0 of 9 from 3. These are the numbers on the screen. You're saying them out loud, but they, they still don't seem real. 9 for 40 it, from it's, a half. It's like watching UConn take on Quinnipiac. That's the type of thing. You don't see this in the NBA. It just doesn't happen that way. 22 to 7. The Clippers have outscored the Mavericks here in the second quarter. With 9.4 seconds to go as Exum missed the first foul shot. And here's the second one on the way, and that's good. So the last shot belongs to the Clippers. And Paul George will bring it up against Derrick Jones. With 5-4. Three, two, pull up, top of the arc, three, off the back rim, no good, horn sounds, end of a horrific first half for the Dallas Mavericks. Pick your favorite slasher movie, your worst horror movie. That's what this first half has been for the Mavericks as they trail the L.A. Clippers 56 to 30. And quite frankly, it could have been even worse, not like the Clippers as the second quarter went on, Mark shot the ball particularly well. Seven points in a playoff quarter. I mean, I, I can't get over, you just said that, I can't get over that number. The Clippers shot 46.7%, the same from three, only took 15 threes. Again, the Mavericks just could not see the ball go in the basket. I'm thinking back to a game that the Mavericks played here right after Thanksgiving against the Clippers. They got blown out. The Clippers really didn't play very well in that game. They shot under 44% in that game, but the Mavericks were so bad in that game that might have been the worst game they played the entire regular season. And unfortunately for them, in the first half, they've exceeded that today. And, you know, they, they just got to go and just totally flush this. I don't even know if you look at the tape at something like this. And it's so the, bad. In the big picture scenario, this was the Clippers' dream game one scenario. Obviously, still a second half remains. But with such a tight turnaround between game one and game two, assuming that the Clippers can hold this, again, 26-point first half lead, having held Dallas to seven points in the second quarter, assuming the Clippers can finish this off, they would now have the luxury to keep Kawhi Leonard out for game two and give him additional rest before game three, which is, of course, is not until Friday in Dallas. So, I mean, this would be as rough a situation as the Mavericks could have expected to start a series. So coming into today, in their last 11 game ones, the Mavericks lost 10 of them. The only game one they won in that time was game one against the Clippers, the last time these teams played back in uh, 2022. Well, Unless miracle of all miracles strikes here, the Mavericks are going to be 1 and 11 in their last 12 game ones. Just a brutal first half as they trail here in Los Angeles 56 to 30. Kevin Gray with the highlights in the first half, such as they were. 
from the Medella Sports Desk and the rest of the day and night in the NBA and in the sports world coming your way next in Game 1 on the Dallas Mavericks Radio Network. I'm going to let you in on a secret. You never have to pay overdraft fees again when you're banking through Chime. That's right, Chime is changing the game. Chime has no monthly fees, and with SpotMe, you get fee-free overdraft on debit card purchases. Now that's banking that has your back. SpotMe eligibility requirements and limits apply. Go to Chime.com for details. Chime is a financial technology company, not a bank. Banking services provided by the Bancorp Bank or Stride Bank, N.A., members FDIC. TXU Energy is changing the game with Live Your Free, the first and only plan of its kind that automatically adapts each month to give you free energy when you use it most. What if I use the most during the day? Enjoy free energy all day, every day. What if I suddenly become a night owl? Your nights are free automatically. What if I go weekend warrior? Free energy all weekend, my friend. So the savings change with me. And you never have to change a thing. TXU Energy. Energy for everything. Free energy charges and time periods defined in plan EFL. TDU and other bill charges apply normally. Visit TXU.com for details. After the end of a good fight, you deserve an ice cold reward. Medela is the mark of a fighter. You've earned this rich golden lager with a crisp, refreshing taste. Because you know the bigger the fight, the better the reward. You put in the hours, the energy, the tough labor. You are a fighter. Medela is your reward. Medela, the mark of a fighter. Drink responsibly. Beer imported by Crown Port, Chicago, Illinois. Great medical care, like great basketball, takes teamwork and a commitment to being the very best. At UT Southwestern Medical Center, we're on a mission of healing, discovery, and education, and the ultimate victory is your good health. Fulfilling that mission has made UT Southwestern the number one hospital in DFW for seven straight years, an excellent winning streak. Finding answers, changing lives, UT Southwestern, the official health care partner of the Dallas Mavericks. Go Mavs! TXU Energy is changing the game with Live Your Free, the first and only plan of its kind that automatically adapts each month to give you free energy when you use it most. What if I use the most during the day? Enjoy free energy all day, every day. What if I suddenly become a night owl? Your nights are free automatically. What if I go weekend warrior? Free energy all weekend, my friend. So the savings change with me. And you never have to change a thing. TXU Energy. Energy for everything. Free energy charges and time periods defined in plan EFL. TDU and other bill charges apply normally. Visit TXU.com for details. Great medical care, like great basketball, takes teamwork and a commitment to being the very best. At UT Southwestern Medical Center, we're on a mission of healing, discovery, and education, and the ultimate victory is your good health. Fulfilling that mission has made UT Southwestern the number one hospital in DFW for seven straight years. An excellent winning streak. Finding answers, changing lives. UT Southwestern, the official health care partner of the Dallas Mavericks. Go Mavs! Back to Dallas Mavericks Playoffs Basketball on the Mavs Radio Network. Hey, it's Mark Cuban, and you're listening to the home of the Mavs. Time now for the Halftime Show on the Mavericks Radio Network. Now, here's your host, Kevin Gray. Mavericks, unfortunately, getting blown out in the first half by the Clippers as the Clippers lead the Mavericks 56 to 30 as they have a 26 point lead at the end of the first half. Mavs shot two of 18 from three and nine of 40 from the field in the first half. The Clippers shooting 47 percent from the field and 47 percent for three without Kawhi Leonard, who's missing today's game with a knee injury. Clippers got 20 points from James Harden in the first half, 12 points from Avita Zubac and 10 more. From Russell Westbrook, Luka Doncic was the only Maverick in double figures with 11 points. Kyrie Irving and P.J. Washington each had six points as the Clippers outscored the Mavs 24-8 in the paint and out-rebounded the Mavericks 29-21 in the rebounding department. Mavs down by 26 at halftime, 56-30 in game one of the first round of the Western Conference playoffs. Let's get to the first half highlights from Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles. Start in the first quarter. The Mavs started just 2 of 7 from the field and just 1 of 3 from the three-point line in the first three and a half minutes of the game. P.J. Washington knocks down the three-pointer in the right corner early on to tie the game at 7. Kick it right corner to Washington, back to Luka, 45-degree angle, hook it back out to Irving to the right. Washington for three, he hits. Spectacular ball movement by the Mavericks. 
That came with just under nine and a half minutes left in the first quarter, but the Clippers then went on a 9-2 run after the game was tied at seven. That was capped off by a Paul George three-pointer that forced the Mavs timeout with seven minutes left in the first period as the Clippers led 16-9, to nine, five minutes into the first quarter. Luka Doncic, though, ends that 9-2 run by the Clippers by getting the bucket over Terrence Mann. Kyrie overplayed by Mann. Luka comes and gets it. Mann stays with him. Shot clock down to four. Still outside the arc. Now goes on the move. Trying to lean in. Can't do it. From the elbow. Hits the shot. Against the clock. That will cut the Clippers lead to five at 16 to 11 with just under seven minutes left in the first quarter. Then Luka Doncic then pulls the Mavericks within six as he knocks down the left side jumper over Russell Westbrook late in the second first quarter. Hands back to Luka left wing. Fakes the shot. Has Westbrook on his hip. Fakes the pass. Now will take left elbow, pop, and hit it. That cut the Clippers lead to 26 to 20 with 2.11 left in the first quarter. The Clippers would outscore the Mavericks 18 to 13 over the final seven minutes of the period as James Harden scored 11 points, including three three pointers. Avita Zubac had 10 points in the first quarter as the Clippers shot six of eight from three and 62% overall from the field as they led at the end of one, 34 to 22. On to the second quarter. Not too much scoring, particularly for the Mavericks as they were down by 12 to start the second quarter. The Clippers opened the second period on a 6-0 run to increase their lead to 18 at 40-22, to forcing a Mavericks timeout less than two minutes into the period. Mavericks started the first four minutes of the quarter, 0-5 from three and 1-7 of seven from the field as the Clippers led by 15 at 41-26 to with seven and a half minutes left in the second quarter. Derek Live of the second, though, gets his first playoff basket with a dunk on the inside to cut the Clippers' lead to 13. Luca from the left sideline in the lively and back to Luca chased by man up top lively alone makes the catch goes up and dunks it fast forward Clippers led by 22 with four and a half minutes left as they led 50 to 28 after a James Harden and one unfortunately the Mavericks were only score eight points in the second quarter as they went all of nine from the field and all of nine from the three point line excuse me and two of 20 from the field in the second quarter as the Mavericks were outscored 22 to 8 as the Clippers got nine points from James Harden in that second period as the Clippers lead at halftime 56 to 30 in game one of the first round of the Western Conference playoffs. Now let's check out the Lexus NBA scoreboard. Three other games today in the first round of the NBA playoffs with one already having gone final as the number eight seed Miami Heat visit the number one seeded Boston Celtics. Celtics crushed the Heat by 20, 114 to 94 to take a 1-0 series lead. Jason Tatum gets his first ever playoffs triple-double with 23 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists as the Celtics tied a franchise record, knocking down 22 three-pointers in the game to win 114 to 94. Still to come later on tonight, you'll have the number six seed Indiana Pacers visiting the number three seed Milwaukee Bucks. Of course, no Giannis to start the series as he's dealing with a calf injury. And in the nightcap, the number eight seed New Orleans Pelicans will visit the number one seeded Oklahoma City Thunder in the West as they begin their series in OKC. And that's a look at your Lexus. NBA scoreboard other sports news of the day in the PGA Scotty Scheffler leads the final round of the RBC Heritage by three at 19 under par in the final round of today's action and to look at some of your other sports news of the day unfortunately though the Mavericks getting crushed at halftime by 26 at 56 to 30 they need a huge second half comeback to get things going especially from the three-point line to try and get a win today. Coming up next, we'll take you back out live to Crypto.com Arena for the second half with the voice of the Mavericks, Chuck Cooperstein and Mark Stein on the Dallas Mavericks Radio Network. At Comerica Bank, we believe every business should have equal access to opportunities and resources. That's why we created Comerica Co-Work Spaces, free for any Comerica small business customer. Book an office, access tech, use a meeting room, network with other business owners, and more, all for free. To learn more about how Comerica supports all small businesses, visit Comerica.com slash spaces. Member FDIC, equal opportunity lender. Comerica co-workspaces is available to Comerica customers only. Texas, the stampede is running, but it's about to run out. 
It's the final days of truck month at your Texas Ford dealer. Hurry in for a stampede of savings on Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. Experience the power and capability of Ford Super Duty and Ford F-150. Come join the stampede today and get the best deals on a new Ford truck, official truck of the Dallas Cowboys. Based on 1977 to 2023 total sales. Kroger always gives you savings and rewards on top of our lower than low prices. And when you download the Kroger app, you can enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons. Plus, you can earn fuel points to save up to $1 per gallon at the pump. And with a Boost membership, you'll save even more with double fuel points and free delivery. So you can always save big every day with our savings and rewards. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Savings may vary by state. Restrictions apply. See site for details. You know what In-N-Out hamburgers are all about. But what about our fries? It's pretty simple. It all begins with the finest, freshest potatoes, hand-cut right in the store, then cooked to perfection in 100% sunflower oil and served piping hot. Now that's a side order worth singing about. That's what hamburgers are about. Texas, the stampede is running, but it's about to run out. It's the final days of Truck Month at your Texas Ford dealer. Hurry in for a stampede of savings on Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. Experience the power and capability of Ford Super Duty and Ford F-150. Come join the stampede today and get the best deals on a new Ford truck, official truck of the Dallas Cowboys. Based on 1977 to 2023 total sales. You know what In-N-Out hamburgers are all about. But what about our fries? It's pretty simple. It all begins with the finest, freshest potatoes, hand-cut right in the store, then cooked to perfection in 100% sunflower oil and served piping hot. Now that's a side order worth singing about. That's what hamburgers are all about. Hey, it's Mark Cuban, and you're listening to the home of the Mavs. Back to Dallas Mavericks Playoffs Basketball on the Mavs Radio Network. Chuck Cooperstein and Mark Stein at Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles. Start of the second half of game one. The Clippers lead the Mavericks 56 to 30. A rather ignominious first half for the Mavericks, to say the least. Only the third time in franchise history they've scored fewer than 10 points in a quarter. Seven in the fourth quarter of game four of the 06 finals at Miami. Eight in the first quarter at San Antonio in game six in 2010. Remember, that was the Roddy Bobois game when Roddy came in the game and got the Mavericks actually back in the game before they ultimately lost that game and lost in six. The 30 points in the first half, the fewest ever scored by the Mavericks in uh, a first half. Uh, the prior low was 33 uh, against Oklahoma City in game one in 2016. And also in game five against Utah in 2001, the game the Mavericks ultimately won to get to the second round to take on San Antonio. We've lauded this team many times in the second half of the season for its ability to win games when the three wasn't falling. But that means your twos have to fall and nothing is going down again. Two for 18 shooting from three-point range is bad, That ha but that happens. Nine for 41 from the field is, I don't really have words for it. I know I'm new to this radio thing, but I, <laughs> I, I you know, well, wor words but, escape but, me on no, that but, one. No, but you're a writer, so you can, brutal, horrific. Uh, the only silver lining is Daniel Gafford is available to play. He was out for warmups in the second half, and the Mavericks have officially declared him available to continue in this second half. The Clippers will have the ball. They shoot to our right in their blue uniforms with the white numbers and letters. Clippers written across the chest. Mavericks in white. Navy blue letters. Royal blue numbers. As Harden spinning on Jones who fell down and he takes a three and he hits it. As nobody came out to play him. Nobody was within 15 feet of him. 23 for James Harden. 59 to 30. Here is Jones, one bounce, trying to get it to Luca with man all over. He's done a great job on him. 
at the left wing. Luca trying to back him down. Bounce pass out to Kyrie. Pull up top of the arc. Three is good. Nine for Irving. 59-33, but it's going to take a lot more than just makes. It's going to take a bunch of stops, too. And the Mavericks actually did that in the second quarter, believe it or not. Clippers shot just 8 of 24 in the second quarter. But the Mavericks just couldn't make anything. Here is Zubats in deep floater, short rebound. Gafford got a hand on it, but it came to man. In the left corner against Kyrie, down to nine to shoot. Find Zubats in the lane, and the floater is good as he got inside of Washington and flipped it over Gafford. It's a strong game for Avica Zubats. 61-33. Right side Irving toward the baseline. Pocket pass Gafford, and he brings down the rim. Again, the silver lining is that Daniel Gafford is moving well, looks normal, started the second half after that ankle tweak. He looks fine. Here is Harden up the left side. Bumping with Jones. Tons of contact. Playing on. Jones looking for the foul call. And now Harden coming out beyond the arc. Draws a foul on Jones. And Ed Malloy, I don't think really liking the way either player is acting, but uh, finally did call the foul on Jones his second. Second time now Harden's been able to assemble an old-school dance move to draw the foul and beyond the three-point line and he got it But this time not as a shooting foul the inbound to Zubats Hand off to George against Washington trying to turn the corner met by Irving back out coffee top of the arc three No good off the left of the rim Doncic his ninth rebound for the Mavericks here comes Luka against man spins him and then threw it away. Should have shot the layup. The steal by Zubats and a blocking foul on Kyrie with Harden having the ball at midcourt. And if there's anything that Luka can really be guilty of, Mark, it's at times when he spins and he gets right to the lip of the cup where he has a layup, really had an easy layup there. He's passing it out looking for the three, and teams are playing the passing lanes there. Again, the Clippers' defense has been so sharp. They were, they were ready for what's come today and very much looking. George way outside on the left with man screening now against Doncic along the left side Washington doubling him They go for the steal and a jump ball As they got George in jail along the left sideline And let's see who they'll have jump Whether it's Washington or Doncic and it will be Washington well, David Guthrie holding on the ball two minutes and 15 seconds into the third quarter Clippers 61, the Mavericks 35. And George trying to anticipate the jump. Didn't get it. Went backward to Doncic and down to Kyrie driving and scoring with a left-hand lamp on the left of the rim. Now oh, just Luca at his quarterbacking best there with just the two-handed fling pass from the chest right on the numbers for the touchdown. Harden struggling to get it across the line. Now does into the lane. Met by Jones and Doncic out to George. To his left against Washington, backs up, now attacks, drop it off left corner, Coffee back out to George, five on the clock, shoots the three, short, Luca the rebound, number 10 for him, double-double, 11 points, 10 rebounds, Luca on the drive, and he'll hang, he'll bank, it'll score, and Tyron Lue's going to take a timeout of the Mavericks, a lot sharper here in the first nearly three minutes of the third quarter, as they've cut the deficit down to 22 at uh, 61 to 39 with 9.06 remaining in the third quarter of game one on the Dallas Mavericks radio network everyone has a horizon the line you can't see past before it the familiar beyond it the unknown enter the all-new Lexus GX it's designed to be capable it's designed to be luxurious but most of all it's designed to get you past your horizon and the nice thing about horizons is that once they're crossed, there's always another patiently waiting its turn. Live up to it. The all-new Lexus GX. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. After the end of a good fight, you deserve an ice-cold reward. Medella is the mark of a fighter. You've earned this rich golden lager with a crisp, refreshing taste. Because you know the bigger the fight, the better the reward. You put in the hours. The energy, the tough labor. You are a fighter, and Medela is your reward. 
Medela, the mark of a fighter. Drink responsibly. Beer imported by Crown Import, Chicago, Illinois. Great medical care, like great basketball, takes teamwork and a commitment to being the very best. At UT Southwestern Medical Center, we're on a mission of healing, discovery, and education, and the ultimate victory is your good health. Fulfilling that mission has made UT Southwestern the number one hospital in DFW for seven straight years, an excellent winning streak. Finding answers, changing lives. UT Southwestern, the official health care partner of the Dallas Mavericks. Go Mavs! After the end of a good fight, you deserve an ice cold reward. Medela is the mark of a fighter. You've earned this rich golden lager with a crisp, refreshing taste. Because you know the bigger the fight, the better the reward. You put in the hours, the energy, the tough labor. You are a fighter. Medela is your reward. Medela, the mark of a fighter. Drink responsibly. Beer imported by Crown Import, Chicago, Illinois. Hey, it's Mark Cuban, and you're listening to the home of the Mavs. Back to Dallas Mavericks Playoffs Basketball on the Mavs Radio Network. Mavericks starting out a bit better here in the third quarter as they get uh, five from Kyrie and uh, a couple of baskets as well from Gafford and Doncic. And it's 61-39 with 9.06 remaining in the third as we pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Dallas Mavericks Radio Network. KGLMM, Fort Worth, Dallas. This is Luka Doncic. Listen out to 97.1 The Freak. The home of the Mavs. 97.1 The Freak. Don't just watch the playoffs. Go all in and live the sweet life. Single game rental suites are the ultimate way to enjoy the playoffs with premium service and other luxury benefits. Submit your request while the inventory lasts at Mavs.com slash suites. Early timeout for the Clippers. Here at the start of the third quarter, Dallas hitting three of its first four shots to start the third. Clippers are two of five. And L.A. will have it, shooting to our right. With Terrence Mann to inbound the ball. Looking for Paul George, gets it to him in the corner. P.J. Washington picks him up full court. George diagonally left to right across the line. And now back to his left, he'll hand off to Mann. Uh, Zubats in the high post, right elbow behind him. Harden circling left and through the lane behind Coffey. Hauls it in. Back out to George. Down to five to shoot against Washington. Lost the handle. Got it back into his chest and steps back for three. And he hit it from the top of the arc. It's a tremendous play by Paul George. Yeah, if he makes that one, you live with it. P.J. Washington has been giving Paul George fits this afternoon. Really active defensively. Left wing Washington. Luka low post left against man put it on the floor into the lane below the dotted line pulls the string short man got the rebound man up the right side and across the way to Zubats backwards to Harden right in the jump circle to his left against Luca got him on his hip and then through the lane finds coffee right corner three is good Second three of the game for Amir Coffey. The Clippers 10 of 20 from three. And leading 67-39, Kyrie right to left and hits the little eight-footer left of the lane. And Kyrie hit starts the light up here in the third. Come He's on, got hit the light seven button. in the quarter and third the game. Join the 67 to 41. Kyrie was seven of Dallas's 11. Man, left hash mark. Harden. Comes and gets it. Jones fell down again. Right side, George open for three. Got it again. This time, able to get away from P.J. Washington. 70 to 41. Down low. Here is Gaffer. Can't finish it against George's challenge. Zubats the rebound. Here comes Harden on the drive and all the way to the rim. The runner, no good. The rebound to Washington. And Luka took a shot across the face as he trails the play. Right wing, Derek Jones on the drive, hanging, banking, no good. Rebound knocked out by Zubats to Coffey. And knocked away from Coffey out of bounds, but they'll say Coffey touched it last. And Ty Lu not happy with that call at all. But the Mavericks will inbound the ball from the baseline to the right of the basket. Of course, Clippers used the challenge early in the game and won it, so they have a second challenge available to him. Maxi Klebus checked in for the Mavericks to replace Gafford as Kyrie splits a double team, got in the lane, and hits the little 12 footer. Kyrie Irving, for one, is chipping the rust away now. This looks more like the Kyrie we saw 
throughout well, the, the whole second half of the season. The one thing about Kyrie, too, is that he's been a second half and really a fourth quarter player most of the year. One of the things you'd like to see, certainly moving forward in this series, uh, be able to get him up and running a lot earlier in the game. Down to four to shoot now is George along the left side, away from Washington for three. at short. Doncic is 11th rebound. And to Irving, up the right side, accelerates on George, crosses over, pulls up with the right elbow, and hits again. 17 for Irving, 11 here in the third, and it's 70 to 45 as we come up on the midway point of the third quarter. Harden over the line on the right against X, screen by Mann. And down low for Mann, met by Kleba, drop it off for Zubats against Kleba, and turns over Kleba, that short man, the offensive rebound, out to Coffey, to Harden, right wing three, that's no good, rebound chased down the Maverick bench by Washington. Here comes Doncic, to his left, accelerates, and tripped up, and his foul, he'll go to the line to shoot, Terrence Mann's going to be called for the foul. Two fouls on Terrence Mann. And the first on the Clippers here in the third quarter. So Doncic, 13 points, 11 rebounds, just 5 of 15 shooting, 1 of 7 from 3. Yeah, this is a mortal-looking Luka Doncic, not what the Clippers are used to. I don't think he will say this after the game because it would come off as excuse-making, but I think rest really does not sit well with him to have more than a week off. I think it affects Luka Doncic more than most. And he's very Dirk Nowitzki-like in that way. Dirk hated long periods of rest, and I think Doncic is the same deep down. You know, you're trying to protect the players as much as possible by not playing them at the end of the season. But at the same time, you know they have the week off. So ha instead of having 10 days off he would have had seven days off a week and two games in the case of both Luca and Kyrie both sitting out those last two regular season games two free throws for Luca 70 to 47 Zubats left of the lane bumping with Kleba hard dribble through the lane rolling hook is good hit the front rim and crawled over Mads have gone small again with Kleba at the five, and you know Zubac loves the sight of that. Here is Luka to his left, pulls up top of the arc three, got it. 18 for Doncic. He's got seven in the quarter. Kleba's got 11. And that's the 100th three-pointer in the playoffs for Luka in his career. Here's hard between his legs, left to right. Right and length, stop and go, right baseline, off balance, short, and the rebound to Kleber, to uh, Irving. Mavericks have numbers with hard behind the play. Luca on the drive against Westbrook in the lane, missed it. Rebound tipped in with the left hand by Irving, and another timeout for Tyron Lou as the Mavericks cut it down to 20. With 4.50 remaining in the third quarter, the alarm clock went off late for Kyrie and Luca, but they have both come alive here in the third quarter. Kyrie with 13. And Luca with seven, 19 and 18 points respectively. It's a 20 point Clippers lead. Did you hit the like remaining button? in the third, 72 the 52 like in game one too. on the Dallas Join Mavericks the Radio Network. Hey, Mavs fans, when you're shopping for your game day essentials, don't forget to pick up a bag of Ruffles potato chips. Each chip is cooked to crispy, crunchy perfection with the classic Ruffles ridges you know and love. Try some of our Ruffles flavors, including original cheddar and sour cream and flaming hot cheddar and sour cream. Ruffles is proud to be the official chip of the NBA and an official sponsor of the Dallas Mavericks. Ruffles, choose the flavor that speaks to you. The NBA app is everyone's app. Every fan of every team. Oh my goodness. Everyone who follows LeBron, Tatum, and Embiid in the app. Every warrior who's ready to go to battle over three-point percentages. Every streetwear king who's here for the tunnel fits. Every young buck, nugget, and grizzly who wants to take a peek behind the scenes of the league. And everyone else on this floating basketball we call Earth. Download the NBA app today. Available in the Google Play, Apple app, and Android stores.
There are a lot of ways to make whiskey, but there's only one way to make Jack Daniels. Jack could have been like any other whiskey. Instead, we charcoal mellow every drop through 10 feet of hard sugar maple charcoal. We use water from Cave Spring Hollow in Lynchburg, Tennessee. It's no coincidence that Jack is what it is today. Because when you make your own label, you make everything else yours too. But we don't need to tell you that, do we? Make it count. Jack Daniels. Please drink responsibly. Tennessee whiskey, 40% alcohol by volume. Jack Daniels, Distillery, Lynchburg, Tennessee. Jack Daniels, and old number seven registered trademarks. 2022 Jack Daniels, all rights reserved. With the Kroger app, shopping online with pickup and delivery is the same as shopping shopping in store same low prices same personalized deals same rewards on the same high quality items like honey crisp apples and pasta sauce with no hidden fees or markups it's one small click for groceries one big win for busy families everywhere start your cart today at kroger.com kroger fresh for everyone restriction supply see site for details Back to Dallas Mavericks Playoffs Basketball on the Mavs Radio Network. Hey, it's Mark Cuban, and you're listening to the home of the Mavs. I'm Kevin Gray here at the Modelo Sports Desk. Get you caught up on some early action from the NBA playoffs from today. Celtics win 114 to 94 at home over the Miami Heat by 20 as Jason Tatum goes for 23, 10, and 10 for his first playoff triple double in Bam and Ohio. Had 24 points in the losing effort still to come tonight. Pacers visiting the Bucks and the Pelicans visiting the number one seed in the West, Oklahoma City Thunder. Let's go back out to Los Angeles. Mark signing Chuck Cooperstein. All right. Thanks very much, Kevin. 450 remaining. In the third quarter, Clippers 72, Mavericks 52. The Mavericks 22 points here in the third quarter. That's what they scored in the first quarter. And, of course, scored only eight in the second quarter. Dallas is 9 of 13 here in the third. They only made nine baskets the entire first half, went 9 of 41, holding the Clippers to 6 of 14. And L.A. under 46% for the game, but their three-point shooting's been great. 11 of 23. Well, it's got to be Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving who dragged the Mavericks back into this game. Kyrie Irving just kind of tapped Luka Doncic before we get play started here again, trying to keep his spirits up. And I think the both of them realize that they've got to get something good out of this half at the very least leading into game two. Clippers with the ball. They've taken both timeouts here in the third quarter as Terrence Mann will bring it up against Kyrie to his right. On the arena logo, we'll try to drop it to Harden against Doncic. Pivots and now finds George, top of the circle, back to the basket. Inside pivot on Washington, eight to shoot to his left. And finds Westbrook through the lane, left to right. The man in the right corner for three, it's good. And again, the Clippers three-point shooting has just been on point today. They're 12-3 of the day in 24 attempts. And the Clippers with a 75-52 lead. Luka, right wing back to the basket against Mann. No double team for the moment. Luka put it on the floor, eight to shoot. At the right and lane, puts the shoulder in him, shoots the fadeaway, and that settles in. 20 for Doncic. 75-54, hard. And Luka all over him, and Luka will take the foul in the backcourt. The first one on Doncic. To see Luka that engaged defensively, picking up Harden that tightly before he even crosses midcourt, I live with that foul. I like that. The 13th foul against the Mavericks as Harden leaves the game and Norman Powell will come in to take his place. Man inbounds to Westbrook, picked up right at the midcourt line by Irving. Mihai dribble, finds George. Screen by Zubats, ripping through to the left. Washington fights through the screen to get back to George. Ten to shoot, knocks it away. George got it back. Eight to shoot as he drives into the lane. And blocked by Kleba. Came right down to Zubats. And that was blocked as well by Washington out of bounds. Boy, excellent defense by both Kleba and Washington. And that's what partly makes this deficit so galling. No Kawhi Leonard. And they've done such a good job on Paul George, who only has 11 points. Three and a half seconds to shoot. Westbrook into George against Kleba. Forces it up. Rainbow off the back rim. Westbrook the offensive rebound over Washington. Back out to George. Wide open right wing three. No good. Rebound through the hands of Zubats and taken by Exum. Exum up the right side against Norman Powell. Luka wants it at half court. Now has it against Zubats with the mismatch. Dancing him to his left, between his legs right. Driving him, pumping, leaning in. Drop it off down low. 
And Kleba not ready for the pass. It goes out of bounds. And Dodgett's really frustrated coming back down the floor. As Tim Hardaway checks in to replace Exum. I wouldn't have expected a pass there if I'm Moxie Kleba with Luca isolated on Zubac. So you can understand the disconnect on that one. Along the right side, Westbrook against Kyrie, right of the lane. Kyrie poked it away from behind, picked up by Washington. Now to Irving, right to left on George, spinning on him. Blocked by Westbrook, but a foul, and he'll go to the line. Second steal of the game for Irving. A chance to get this thing under 20, Chuck. With 2.55 remaining in the third quarter. Gafford to the scores table to check in. After the first of these Irving free throws, he's 4-4 for the line today. The Mavericks 12 of 16 as a team. First one is on the way and good. 14 for Kyrie here in the third. Nine for Doncic here in the third. 23 of the 25 Dallas points in the third from those two. As Kyrie going through the routine, massaging the ball. Then three quick bounces in the spin, and the free throw on the way, and that's good. The 26-point halftime deficit only down to 19, but because Luka and Kyrie are so flammable, let's see if they can cut this thing down a little bit further and just give the Clippers some anxiety. Westbrook along the left side. Bounce pass to George. Now Zubats against Gafford. Poked it away. Zubats got it back. Zubats turns baseline on him with the left. No good. Rebound tipped out by Irving. Controlled by Kleba. Now to Doncic up the middle. And veers off to his left against Westbrook. Will take the three. And that one is short. And the rebound to Zubats. 13 rebounds now for Ivica Zubats to go along with 16 points. And that would have been big had Doncic been able to get that one to go. George against Luka. Crossover right to left, blows by him. Oh, and Gafford denies him at the rim, but it came down to Zubats, and he's able to flip it up and in. What a block that was by Gafford as George went for the tomahawk and was denied. Now Kyrie, oh, what a move around, man. Comes oh. up the other side and lays it wow. up and in. Kyrie doing Kyrie things. I mean, at the other end, the Mavs have hounded Paul George into four for 15 shooting. That Kyrie Irving reverse layup put that in his highlight reel for the season. Vintage Kyrie there. 23 for Kyrie. Zubats the handoff to Powell. Driving right on Hardaway. Take it off the board. No good, but it came right back to Zubats. Just standing there because Gafford had gone for the block. And nobody able to put a body on Zubats. A huge game for Zubats today. 20 and 15. A minute 20 remaining in the third. Luca hangs in the lane. That's too hard. And the rebound. Zubats had it tipped away from him by Gafford out of bounds. Exum comes back in to replace Doncic for the final minute 15 of the third. And then uh, Luke will be back to start the fourth. And Zubats now sits down as Mason Plumlee comes in to take his place. What a game Zubats has had today. 20 points, 15 rebounds in 29 minutes. As Westbrook brings it across the line for the Clippers. Screen by Plumlee. Left to right, back to his left, met by Gafford, and able to lay it off. The man in the dunker spot for an easy dunk for Terrence Mann. Three straight possessions. The Mavericks make the first stop, and the ball just finds a wide-open clipper after that for a bucket. 81-58, Kyrie spinning right against Powell along the baseline, and a blocking foul on Norman Powell, the first in the last two minutes against the Clippers. As Powell picks up his third. And Irving will inbound from the right side. 20 points for Avica Zubac, his playoff career high, Chuck. He's had some big games in the past against the Mavericks. It's Gafford on the drive. He tried to dunk it, and he missed it. Just clanked it off the rim. That's a couple that he's missed today. Now Westbrook, touch it left corner, Powell for three. You don't want to leave him open, the fifth leading three-point shooter in the NBA at 43.5%, and they've got it back up to 26. Irving pull up three. That's good from the left wing. 26 for Kyrie, 20 here in the third. 84-61, six-second difference, shot clock to game clock. Westbrook just over the line on the right. 
Down to 12 to shoot, 20 in the quarter. Westbrook ready to attack with seven and six. Here comes the Plumley screen. Westbrook on the drive, diagonal left corner. Taken by Mann, one bounce rhythm dribble and knocks it down. Three-pointer for Terrence Mann. Their three-point shooting has just been fabulous today. The Mavericks have had no answer to that. Hardaway, right side, forced up three. Got it with two-tenths of a second remaining. And that'll do it for the third quarter of play. That only the fifth point for the Mavericks in the quarter that was scored by someone other than Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving. Irving with 20 in the quarter. Doncic had nine in the quarter. The Mavericks scored 34 points in the quarter, but uh, barely draw a dent. They were down 26 at halftime. They're down 23 as we go to the fourth. The Clippers 87, the Mavericks 64 in game one on the Dallas Mavericks radio network. TXU Energy is changing the game with Live Your Free, the first and only plan of its kind that automatically adapts each month to give you free energy when you use it most. What if I use the most during the day? Enjoy free energy all day, every day. What if I suddenly become a night owl? Your nights are free automatically. What if I go weekend warrior? Free energy all weekend, my friend. So the savings change with me. And you never have to change a thing. TXU Energy. Energy for everything. Free energy charges and time periods defined in plan EFL. TDU and other bill charges apply normally. Visit TXU.com for details. After the end of a good fight, you deserve an ice cold reward. Medela is the mark of a fighter. You've earned this rich golden lager with a crisp, refreshing taste. Because you know the bigger the fight, the better the reward. You put in the hours, the energy, the tough labor. You are a fighter. Medela is your reward. Medela, the mark of a fighter. Drink responsibly. Beer imported by Crown Import, Chicago, Illinois. Hey, guys, it's Jeff Cavanaugh here. I want to talk to you about my friends at BlueChew.com. If you don't already know about it, well, you need to. BlueChew is great. It's a unique online service, and what they do is deliver the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in a chewable form and at a fraction of the cost. They also now have Vardenafil mint-flavored chewables with the active ingredient in Levitra and Staxin, so you can stay happy, excited, and fresh. If you don't like swallowing pills that's no problem here blue chews tablets are chewable it's an online prescription service so there's no visits to the doctor's office there's no awkward conversations no waiting in line at a pharmacy ships right to your door in a discreet package their tablets are made in the usa they prepare and ship direct so it's cheaper than a pharmacy if you could benefit from extra confidence and who couldn't when it's time to perform visit bluechew.com and here's a special deal for our listeners try blue chew free when you use the promo code freak at checkout just pay five dollar shipping that's bluechew.com promo Promo code FREAK to receive your first month free. Hey, it's Mark Cuban, and you're listening to the home of the Mavs. Back to Dallas Mavericks Playoffs Basketball on the Mavs Radio Network. Chuck Cooperstein and Mark Stein at the Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles. Start of the fourth quarter of Game 1. The Clippers 87, the Mavericks 64. It was a much better third quarter for the Mavericks. Uh, but uh, again, they only were able to take three points uh, off of the halftime deficit. The Mavericks shot 13 of 20 in the third quarter, four of five from three. The Clippers just 44%, but seven of 12 mark from behind the line. And if there is a number that really tells a lot of this story, it's the Clippers three point shooting today. They've been tremendous. 14 threes for the Clips, 14 for 27 shooting. The Mavs a woeful only six threes we've seen them so I mean right there that's your 24 point difference right there and I mean the Mavs just some signs of life in that third quarter but really didn't make any any headway any headway in cutting that de cutting that deficit Mavericks will have it to start the fourth and Luke will bring it up behind the back away from Westbrook as he comes across the line straight away and now turns back toward the midcourt line. Lively screen right. Westbrook fights over the screen. Luka keeps the dribble. And over the top to Hardaway. Left corner. Side step away from Powell for three. It's no good. Luka offensive rebound. Out to Washington. Top of the arc. Three. Good. Doncic with his 12th rebound of the game. To go along with his 20 points. And the 7-3 for the Mavericks today. Plumley. Top of the yard, coming around his pal on the move, pulls up right elbow, double clutches it, comes up short, hard away the rebound. And now to Doncic. Chess Batman running the floor was lively. He was ahead of the field, but he kind of hesitated. 
And Luca led him right to the basket, but the pass overthrown and ultimately goes out of bounds. Ninth Dallas turnover of the game. Don't think Lively anticipated Luca was going long to him there. And that's a couple of times today, Mark, that the, the Mavericks bigs have not been on the same page with Luca as it relates to his passing and where Luca's expecting those guys to be. Harden back in the game, backs up on Lively, drives to his right, kick it off in the dunker spot. Plumley blocked by Lively out of bounds. And Derek Lively with his second block of the game and the seventh by the Mavericks overall. Westbrook inbounds from the baseline to the right of the basket. 1.4 seconds for the Clippers to shoot. Westbrook looks. Powell comes around. They'll throw it up top. Plumley to catch it. Another block by Lively. Picked up by Washington. Three on two. Luka to the right. Josh Green laid off the Hardaway to lay it up and in. And Derek Lively making his presence felt around the rim. And Tim Hardaway with his six point. Now Westbrook right of the circle. Three. It's good. Russell Westbrook, his second three of the game. Luca right to left off Lively. Left elbow in the lane against Westbrook and a foul on Westbrook. And let's see if they call this in a gather motion. And they will not. They'll call it on the side. Third foul on Westbrook. Doncic in bounds for the left sideline. Foul line extended into Lively. Luca comes around, overplay, back to Hardaway, left wing, shot clock at nine. Hardaway drops it to Lively, back to Luca, five to shoot, to his left off Lively. Inside the arc, into the lane, and he'll shoot the little runner, front rim, back rim, and settles in. 22 for Doncic. 90 to 71, two minutes into the fourth. Harden along the right wing against Lively. He's done a good job on those switches today, moving his feet and staying with the guards. Now switched on to by Doncic, down to six to shoot. Harden to the right, Westbrook will try it again. This one way short, Hardaway the rebound. Say, Clippers taking a lot of time off the clock, not really running much offense. Luka at the nail, then steps through on Westbrook and can't get it to go. Rebound, fought four, Harden comes out of there with it. Up the right side. Harden backs up and takes the three, and that's going to be short. Rebound Washington. Ahead to Hardaway on the cherry pick, but underneath the basket, so he couldn't shoot it. Brings it out to the wing. On the dribble against Powell. And into Doncic's hands. Right off of Lively. Pick and roll. Doncic met by Plumley. Left corner, Washington for three. Way short. Rebound. Deflected out beyond the foul line to Coffey. Here comes Coffey right to left and blocked by Josh Green from behind. And it goes out of bounds and it'll be Clippers ball. And the Mavericks really hustling back. I mean, the block shot totals are there. I mean, the Clippers are shooting 43.6% as Kyrie comes back in to replace Josh Green. And as I mentioned earlier, Mark, this game is really taking on the tenor of that game post Thanksgiving where the Clippers really haven't played all that well but the Mavericks have just been so bad as Lucas strips Powell of the ball here comes Luca up the right side against Plumley over the top to Washington left corner down low lively with the catch in the reverse and he's fouled as he couldn't quite finish it'll go to the line very short rest for Kyrie Irving as you said now back with Luka Doncic as the Mavericks try to make one last push here he was eight for eight in that third quarter. Derek Lively on the line. Shot just over 50% for the season from the line and misses the first one. And what a tremendous rookie season Derek Lively has had. And one that was, I don't think, anticipated when they drafted him number 12 last summer. And everybody going nuts in the building because if he misses, there's chicken. And Derek Lively will not allow them to have chicken, at least for the moment. And seemed to gesture so. Yeah. I think he knew it was on the line there with that second free throw. Of course, uh, last Sunday in the final regular season game, Boba Marjanovic missed on purpose so that everybody could get chicken. As Westbrook throws it away, driving into the lane, he thought Powell's going to slide down in the right corner, and he did not. And the Clippers turn it over. 
90 to 72. Three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter, as close as the Mavericks have been in the second half. Doncic off the stagger to the right, and he'll pull up for three over Plumley and hit it. And a timeout by Tyron Liu. Doncic with 25, and the Mavericks within 15 with 8.22 remaining. It's the Clippers 90 and the Mavericks 75 on the Dallas Mavericks radio network. With the Kroger app, shopping online with pickup and delivery is the same as shopping in-store. Same low prices, same personalized deals, same rewards on the same high-quality items like Honeycrisp apples and pasta sauce with no hidden fees or markups. It's one small click for groceries, one big win for business hit the families like button? everywhere. Come on, Start hit your the like today button. At Kroger and subscribe to Kroger, Join the fresh family. for everyone. Restriction supply, see site for details. Great medical care, like great basketball, takes teamwork and a commitment to being the very best. At UT Southwestern Medical Center, we're on a mission of healing, discovery, and education, and the ultimate victory is your good health. Fulfilling that mission has made UT Southwestern the number one hospital in DFW for seven straight years, an excellent winning streak. Finding answers, changing lives. UT Southwestern, the official health care partner of the Dallas Mavericks. Go Mavs! At Comerica Bank, we believe every business should have equal access to opportunities and resources. That's why we created Comerica Co-Work Spaces, free for any Comerica small business customer. Book an office, access tech, use a meeting room, network with other business owners, and more, all for free. To learn more about how Comerica supports all small businesses, visit Comerica.com slash spaces. Member FDIC, equal opportunity lender. Comerica Co-Work Spaces is available to Comerica customers only. TXU Energy is changing the game with Live Your Free, the first and only plan of its kind that automatically adapts each month to give you free energy when you use it most. What if I use the most during the day? Enjoy free energy all day, every day. What if I suddenly become a night owl? Your nights are free automatically. What if I go weekend warrior? Free energy all weekend, my friend. So the savings change with me. And you never have to change a thing. TXU Energy. Energy for everything. Free energy charges and time periods defined in plan EFL. TDU and other bill charges apply normally. Visit TXU.com for details. Hey, it's Mark Cuban, and you're listening to the home of the Mavs. Back to Dallas Mavericks Playoffs Basketball on the Mavs Radio Network. Get mom the ultimate MFFL gift this year. Book Mavs Manor Champ. Receive a free gift basket and appearance. Book now at Mavs.com slash mascots. Well, the Mavericks trailing by as many as 29 today at 70 to 41 with seven minutes to play in the third quarter have cut the deficit to 15 at 90 to 75. They're at four of seven here to start the fourth quarter while the Clippers are just one of seven. And frankly, Mark, they've gotten stagnant. They're, they're playing the clock and not playing their game. And they've not gotten very good shots. And they've also turned it over a couple of times. And the Mavericks have turned that into points. And it's funny because the Clippers front office is just a row in front of us here where we're stationed at Crypto.com Arena. And maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but I think there is a hint of apprehension among them <laughs> just because they know what Luka Doncic especially is capable of. And at least 15 with eight minutes to go, the Mavericks are within some semblance of striking range now. But for the Mavericks, as much as it is about scoring, it is about stops, and they've gotten stops. And the Clippers have helped them by slowing the game down. But their defense around the rim has been good. Lively a couple of blocks. Josh Green had a block when he was in there briefly. And the Clippers now have it with 8.22 remaining. Shooting to our right as Norman Powell inbound the ball to James Harden. And Luka will pick him up. Full court. And here comes Harden. Right hand dribble across the line on the right. Picks up the dribble to Plumley, the top of the arc to the back door. Paul George for the dunk as he got PJ Washington's head turn. Ty Lue finally runs something specifically to try to get Paul George going, and it worked. Here's Dodge across the floor from left to right. Kleba screen left. Luca goes that way. Got Harden on his hip. Luca stop and go. Met by Plumley. Back out Kleba. Kleba top of the arc. Back to Luca with four on the clock. Three and near half court. Two and one. Left to Kleba. Got to get rid of it. And that's way short. Not close. I tell you, terrific defense on Luca at the right of the lane. 
Plumley especially forced him to give it up, and they were nowhere near getting in position to score. Is George on the drive, pulls up mid-range, hit it from 12. Back-to-back -back baskets for Paul George. And the Clippers back up 19, 94, 75. Kyrie, right wing, inside the arc now. Met by Powell and George. Back out to Cleep at the top, left to Luka. Over Harden for three, it's good. 28 for Doncic, his fourth three of the game in 11 attempts. Go along with 12 rebounds and five assists. 94, 78, seven minutes remaining in game one. George against Luka, drives left. Finds Harden, looping past the flaring. George over Doncic's challenge, hit the three. And that's a tough shot by Paul George, and that's seven straight for George out of the timeout. Yeah, that layup might have gotten him going. Two really tough shots in a row here. Kyrie to his left, looking for Kleba. Gets it the right elbow. Kyrie cuts, gets it, left hand layup around, and falls out. One of the rare times not able to finish among the trees. Plumley got the rebound. It's a hard cross court right. Paul George knocked away by Doncic from behind, but it came right back to George, knocked away from him by Kyrie. And it's out of bounds to the Clippers. And how many times, Mark, have we seen it today where the Mavericks knock the ball away or a ball comes off the rim at a funny angle and it comes right back to the Clippers with the Mavericks in the, the pack. second half? That's got to be the fifth time at least it's happened that the Mavericks make the stop but don't end up with the ball. Inbound to George right baseline against Washington and Doncic to Terrence Mann back in the game. Left alone for three. You can't do that today. Three of three from behind the line for Terrence Mann. The Clippers 17 of 32 from deep. Luka to his left. Against Mann. Pumps, leans in, draws the foul, banked it, missed it. It'll go to the line. Three fouls on Terrence Mann. Three fouls on the Clippers. And Luka to the line with 6.01 remaining. I wanted to mention this much earlier since I am the official shoe correspondent for 97 <laughs> 1 The Freak. Luka actually debuting the Luka 3 photo finish colorway today. Only stuck with those for a quarter. Switch shoes in the second quarter. Missed the first free throw off the right. None, none of that backstory helped him at the line there. <laughs> and now. Luca in a position to deny the fans their wants. As loud as it's been in here all day. And Luca denies him. So 29 for Doncic. Washington in the midst of it with man. Now Kleba and Zubac got tied up. And then everybody else got into the mix. No chick, no free Chick-fil-A yet. Clippers can't say they've had their way in all facets. And there's going to be a review. Now the teams sent to their benches. The three officials, David Guthrie, Ed Malloy, and Carl Lane, huddling up at the foul line. They will uh, go over to the table and take a look at things. The replay officials today are uh, J.B. DeRosa and Sean Corbin. Kevin Cutler, the alternate official today, back in the locker room in case one of these officials is uh, unable to continue. So uh, we're going to get a look at this on the free throw. And we don't have a really good look at it, at least the first time around. As Zubats and Kleba got together, here's a little better look at it. Zubats trying to hold Kleba out. And then... Uh, Zubats reached around with his right elbow into the back and the neck of Kleba and put him on the ground. And uh, we will see if indeed this is a flagrant one. In the old days, Mark, not a chance in the world on that. In uh, the NBA of 2024, actually a pretty good chance we're probably going to see a flagrant foul here. With 6.01 remaining. The Mavericks trailing by 21, 100 to 79. The Clippers three-point shooting is the story of the game. 17 of 32 for L.A. The Mavericks just 9 of 29. And that's another factor, too. Well, the, the Mavericks you know, went through a stretch 
where they weren't shooting as many threes toward the end of the year mark they got it back up to where they had been all year pretty much shooting about 40 threes a game it's gonna be pretty tough for them to get there today but that's a, a huge part of what they do well and honestly I think Moxie Kleba more than he needs to be on the winning end of this challenge he really needed one of these threes to go down because more than once today we've seen Jason Kidd elect to go small struggling to contain the Clippers the way they were set up previously you have Maxi at the five and uh, you know they are giving him tons of space on the perimeter and 0 for 4 from the field 0 for 3 from deep so I mean this is the arena of course where Moxie Kleba probably hit the shot of his life with that left wing three last to beat the Lakers State. last season but uh, he really needs a three to drop for his own confidence here of course in the playoffs two years ago in game two had the eight three-pointers in that one Again, game ones have not been kind to the Mavericks go back to two years ago Mavericks lost all three game ones lost at home to Utah lost at Phoenix lost at Golden State So uh, if they don't win today all is not lost, but at the same time Got to take care of business when he can. Here's David review, Guthrie. There will be a technical foul issued to Zubac for the initial contact on the free throw. Then after that, he commits a flagrant penalty one for his unnecessary contact and throwing the player from Dallas down to the floor. So Dallas will end up shooting two free throws for the flagrant, one for the technical, and it will be Dallas ball at free throw line extended. Well. Do not quibble with Chuck Cooperstein. I just learned a valuable radio lesson. Impressive rule book knowledge there. Thank you. Anticipating all those rulings. Well, I didn't anticipate the technical. I didn't do that. But again, it's the NBA in 2024, and it's it's just a lot different, certainly, than what the, you and I both grew up with. Uh, there's just uh, not a lot of tolerance for stuff that happens uh, above the chest and shoulder level and a two possession opportunity now for the Mavericks with the technical free throws and then possession yeah they were going to have a, Ed Malloy was going to have Kleba shoot the free throw yeah. but again in, in a dead ball situation you don't do that you have your best free throw shooter your automatic free throw shooter and that's Kyrie first one is up and good his first point of the fourth quarter, 27 in the game, 20 of them coming in the third. Oh, now, and, and so it's, okay, so, yeah, uh, Irving shoots the technical, and Maxi shoots the flagrant and misses that one. Well, it's been a rough day for Kleba. And he gets the second one to go. So that's three times now that the Mavericks have missed the first and made the second here in the fourth quarter 186 minutes remaining Dodge from the left sideline inbound the ball to Cleveland Luka comes and gets it to his right man gets back to him Zubats out to him to Kyrie and back to Luka one-on-one -on -one, 13 to shoot they clear it out for it, put it on the floor crossing over on the drive and got him on skates from the right elbow and he hits the jumper now that looked more like a Doncic v Zubats possession Luka gets the step back that he wants Mavericks showing a little 2-1-2 full court pressure to make the Clippers take some time off the clock as they bring it across the line Harden on the move around Luka around Kyrie floater no good the foul and that's something James Harden has been doing for 15 years in this league keeping that low dribble and then bringing the arms up and drawing the foul Yeah, Harden's actually been pretty quiet here in the second half after that monster first half only three points in the second half, but Drawing fouls what he is known for and he gets it done here 4-4 four, four from the line today and now 5-5 five of five. in fact that uh, Those three points he scored in the second half. He scored the first basket for the Clippers in the third quarter and he had not scored prior to that free throw. But what's interesting, you know, you mentioned the, the Zubats and uh, Luka matchup. In the past, Luka would get that switch, and if you look at to shoot the three today, he's tried to drive it on him a lot more. As Doncic brings it up, and a whistle and a foul on the other side of the floor. Paul George gets called for the foul. 14 fouls now against the Clippers three on George And the Mavericks 
Oh, excuse me. That was the fifth team foul. That was the fifth. My apologies. So Kyrie will go to the line to shoot. And obviously this works in the Mavericks' favor. Try to score with the clock stopped. On the way. And good. And one more to come. Luka with 31. Kyrie with 28. And the second one is up. And no good. In and out. Rebound. Came back to Kyrie in the lane. He missed that floater too. Loose on the floor. And Paul George got to the deck and beat everybody to it and got it into Powell's hands. And a chance loss for the Mavericks there. Kyrie missing the free throw and then missing the floater that he ordinarily makes. George on the right side of the floor with five minutes remaining. Loose dribble against Kyrie. Between his legs, right to left on Kyrie. Top of the arc, pull up three, and he rims it out. All the way around 360, dodges the rebound to Josh Green. Left to right drive, and he's fouled by Norman Powell, who'll go to the line. It's four fouls on Norman Powell. Tell you what, this has turned into a very weird game in a lot of ways. The, the Mavericks have done a lot of things right here in the second half, and clearly, when you're that far behind, at times that the pressure is off to go do something like that as Green hits the first one. But the overall defense against Paul George has been very good. They found a way to quiet Harden here in the second half. Obviously, no Kawhi Leonard, so you never expected the nightmare first half we saw, but they're still in this tangentially as Josh Green gets both of those. 440 remaining, 102 86 Clippers with the lead. Harden along the left side. Against Luka, to his left. Hand off to Powell, out the half court to George. Screen by Zubat's right. George goes that way against Kleba. Turns to his left. Stop and go. Make right, turn left. Pass blocked and stolen by Green. Another Clipper turnover. Here comes Doncic after the 12th Clipper turnover. Their fourth here in the fourth quarter. Doncic against Powell. To his left, can't shoot, right to Washington, take the three, off the back rim, long rebound, off of the hands of Washington, but able to retrieve it. Looking for Kyrie, couldn't get it to him, back out to Cleveland, now to Doncic, seven to shoot, four minutes remaining. To his right with five to shoot, they trap him, pocket pass to Washington, three to shoot, against Powell, flip it up and in, from the right block for P.J. Washington. 102 to 88, Harden along the left side. And backs up against Doncic just over the midcourt line. Let the clock run down. Now we'll drive to his right. Kick it right corner. Man had it open. Passed up. Went to George. To his left. Pull up three. No good. Rebound. Off of Josh Green's fingertips and out of bounds. And that unlucky for the Mavericks. If that ball goes out of bounds, obviously the Mavericks able to get it because there was no clipper around the ball. I mean, the defensive activity has been good. I think they can live with the defensive activity, but so many other things have been lacking. 10-2 to run for the Mavericks over the last two minutes plus, and a timeout now taken by the Mavericks with 3.27 remaining in game one. The Clippers 102, the Mavericks 88 on the Dallas Mavericks radio network. There are a lot of ways to make whiskey, but there's only one way to make Jack Daniels. Jack could have been like any other whiskey. Instead, we charcoal mellow every drop through 10 feet of hard sugar maple charcoal. We use water from Cave Spring Hollow in Lynchburg, Tennessee. It's no coincidence that Jack is what it is today. Because when you make your own label, you make everything else yours too. But we don't need to tell you that, do we? Make it count. Jack Daniels, please drink responsibly. Did you hit the like button? Come on, hit the like button. And subscribe too. Join the family. At In-N-Out, our hamburgers are made with the highest quality ingredients. Made fresh and by hand. Made with a smile to put a smile on your face. Made for special occasions or no occasion at all. Made with gratitude for every customer we get to serve. Most of all, every hamburger, cheeseburger, and double-double is made to order just for you. That's what I After the end of a good fight, you deserve an ice cold reward. Medella is the mark of a fighter. You've earned this rich golden lager with a crisp, refreshing taste. Because you know the bigger the fight, the better the reward. You put in the hours, the energy, the tough labor. 
You are a fighter, and Medela is your reward. Medela, the mark of a fighter. Drink responsibly. Beer imported by Crown Import, Chicago, Illinois. At Comerica Bank, we're creating opportunity for entrepreneurs to stop dreaming and start doing. For gig workers to become business owners. For small businesses to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big dogs. At Comerica Bank, we're creating opportunity beyond bank accounts. We're providing free office space, free advertising, free competitive research, and more to help small businesses do more with less. To learn more, visit Comerica.com slash succeed. Member FDIC, equal opportunity lender, offers available to Comerica Small Business customers only. Terms apply. Back to Dallas Mavericks Playoffs Basketball on the Mavs Radio Network. Hey, it's Mark Cuban, and you're listening to the home of the Mavs. I'm Kevin Gray here at the Modelo Sports Desk. Get you caught up on scores from the NBA playoffs today. Celtics hit a franchise record for the playoffs. 22 three-pointers as they win 114 to 94 at home over the Miami Heat to take a 1-0 series lead. Jason Tatum with a triple-double with 23, 10, and 10. Still to come tonight, you'll have the New Orleans Pelicans take on the Oklahoma City Thunder at 830. And prior to that, the Pacers visit the Milwaukee Bucks tip-off at 6 p.m. Let's go back out to Mark Stein and Chuck Cooperstein. Valley Sports is your home for Mavericks basketball. Watch the Mavericks all season on Valley Sports and streaming on the Valley Sports app. 327 remaining in game one. The Clippers 102, the Mavericks 88. The Clippers just 5 of 13 shooting. They're 17 of 40 from the floor here in the second half. The Mavericks were 13 of 20 in the third. And they are 7 of 14 shooting here in the fourth quarter. 20 out of 34, which is 58% here in the second half. But again, a dreadful, awful, miserable first half for the Mavericks where they scored just 30 points of franchise playoff low and shot only 22% on 9 of 41. Terrence Mann with the ball trying to get it in to Harden. Played tightly by Doncic to his left, and Doncic ran away from him, and Harden takes the three and mix up defensively for the Mavericks there. And a great game for James Harden. Terrific game one for him. 28 points, 6 of 10 from three-point range. Luka against Harden. Screen by Kleba to his left. Play by Zubats on the switch. He'll drive it, and he draws the foul on Zubats, and he'll go to the line with exactly three minutes remaining. Well, James Harden, like Paul George, like Kawhi Leonard, like Russell Westbrook, these are all Southern California natives. Harden wanted to come home and his first playoff game as a Clipper. That's been exceptional. Like the difference maker. He's been exceptional. Doncic free throw good. So 32 for Doncic. 21 in the second half. He led the NBA in 20 point halves this year with 47, 34 of which were in the first half. He had 11 in the first quarter, did not score in the meltdown of the second. He's gotten busy here in the second half and two free throws made. The league's leading score at 33.9, has 33 today. Yeah, this will be considered an off night for Luka Doncic, 33 and 13 rebounds. Just shows you where he is. As George picked up full court by Washington, in and out to his left, and finds Harden just over the line on the left against Doncic. One-on-one, -on -one. Harden driving right, backs up on the dribble, gives it up to George against Washington, down to five to shoot, four and three. Hesitation to the left, and Washington ties him up, and then George able to rip the ball away and force it to the rim and draw the foul. Washington picks up his second. And team foul number two against the Mavericks in the quarter. So Paul George, 18 points, but just seven of 19 shooting today. But seven big points marked for him coming out of that first time out when the Mavericks had closed it down to 15 points. And yeah, despite his shooting struggles and all the successful physicality that P.J. Washington has applied, George has still managed to throw in a few vital threes here. He's got four of the Clippers' 18 threes, and they've all been biggies. Zubats leaves, and Coffee comes in, so the Clippers go small here to close this out in a 20-point game for Paul George, who in the series 
back in 21 had 20 or more in all seven games of the series here's Luca against Harden stepping back away from for three short and the rebound to Paul George Luca just 4 of 12 from three today 11 of 26 overall 107 to 90 as we come down on two minutes remaining in game one Harden on the left side of the floor way outside and again let the clock run down six to shoot and five and pulls up over Tosh it's for three in and out Josh Green with the rebound here comes Irving up the left side under two to play Irving pull up for the left wing for three it's good and Kyrie's got himself a 31 point game 64 between Luka and Kyrie 31 for the rest of the team got to be a little more balanced for game two is George along the left side to the left of the lane back out to Harden against Washington triple threat position to his right went to the ground and got hit in the back of the head but finds George coming down the lane to Powell left wing and a 24 second violation as Powell could not get the shot away in time that's three shot clock violations against the Clippers today and 13 turnovers five of which have come here in the fourth quarter Kyrie runs it up against coffee Pulls up from the foul line, and that's off the back room. Got his own rebound in the lane. Drop it off for Kleba down low, and he'll score. Kleba needed that basket, a basket of any kind. Here comes Powell with a minute 18 remaining, circling left. Pass across the way, left side, George, into the hands of Harden. Play by Washington, foul by Washington. And the second, oh, excuse me, it's the first of the last two minutes for the Mavericks. As Washington picks up the foul. And actually, that's now four on Washington. I miscounted a moment ago. As Washington is trying to stay with George. Man inbounds to Harden against Doncic. Dribbles the ball out toward half court. Right to left, left to right in the lane. Right corner pass stolen by Green. Another Clipper turnover. Here's Green on the drive to the rim. Throws it on up and draws a foul. With 53.6 seconds left. And you know, I'm sure Ty Lue is going to look at this game ultimately say, you know, we got the win and it's great. It's the perfect coaching game. We got the win. We did many things right. But we did not play well here in the fourth quarter especially. So there's some coaching to do. Defensive foul called on George is being challenged by Los Angeles. So Ty Lue's going to challenge this with 53.6 seconds remaining. And the Clippers up 107 to 95. Obviously, uh, the finals may be a bit misleading, given the Clippers led by as many as 29 with uh, seven minutes remaining in the third quarter. But to the Mavericks' credit, Mark, they kept playing. They did not give up. They did not let the game totally go to the nether reaches which really would have been bad, you know, like they did, say, in game one against Oklahoma City in 2016 uh, or against the Spurs. After back replay review, the defender does not establish legal guarding position. He jumps A to B and drifts in the air. The challenge is unsuccessful. It'll be two free throws for Dallas. Los Angeles is out of challenges, and they're charged this time out. So there you go, David Guthrie with the explanation, 53.6 seconds to go. And I think that is something they can take with them. And, uh, you know, did you hit the like button? I, I don't know if Come it was on, Russ in the, the first like half. Button. I mean, again, the, the Clippers were Join pretty much in the same boat as the Mavericks were. I mean, they both had the entire week off. They both knew they were going to be playing each other for the better part of two weeks. But the Clippers were really ready to go. And uh, and the Mavericks didn't quite. And we, we've seen this at times late in the season where they've gotten off the bad starts, gotten behind by too much. Uh, Sometimes they're able to rally and uh, they won a couple of games when they trail by as many as 15 points Well, my sense is the Clippers have not only known Their a point known their opponent for a while But they've known they weren't gonna have Kawhi Leonard for a while and they were ready. They've been ready Josh Green's first one is good Zubats is gonna we're gonna check back in for coffee as we pause 10 for station identification on the Dallas Mavericks radio network One more coming for Josh Green. Foul shots good. 107 to 97. As Harden will get it into Paul George's hands. 
And Omex Prosper on the floor as well. Jaden Hardy to Dwight Powell. And A.J. Lawson as the Mavericks wind up clearing their bench. That's who's in and who's out. Brought to you by In-N-Out Burger. That's what a hamburger is all about. Paul George pulls up and does not call bank and banks it in anyway from deep outside the arc at the right of the circle. Here is Hardy trying a three, and that rims the basket, and the rebound to Zubats, number 15 for him, and that will do it. All she writes for game one of this best of seven. The Mavericks lose game one for the 11th time in their last 12 series as the Clippers go wire to wire today. The Mavericks had only one game all season outside of last Sunday, which we don't even count for the record. But that was against Denver in mid-December where they never led at any point in the game. They never led today as they fall here in game one, 109-97. And home teams in the playoffs now 6-0. Where is the surprise? Where, where are the upsets? Game one, home teams are rolling so far on this eight-game weekend to get the playoffs well, going. And, and five of the games, quite frankly, have... Uh, not been close. It's been all uh, double-digit games. Only the uh, Knicks and Sixers last night. The one game decided by seven. We've had nothing go to the wire so far. But uh, ultimately, Mark, you look at it. It was just. It was a horrible start. It was an even more horrible second quarter. To their credit, they played a lot better in the third quarter. Uh, offensively and then in the fourth quarter they really played a lot better defensively you know defending the rim defending the passing lanes forcing mistakes and at least uh, certainly made the final score respectable give the Clippers maybe something else to think about going into game two I mean those first half struggles were staggering again seven points in the second quarter nine for 41 shooting at halftime you would have never expected it even if we account for some rust but again now the psychology of this series will be fascinating because again the Clippers playing without Kawhi Leonard today but now they get a win they've given themselves some optionality something to think about did the Clippers say you know what we're gonna hold Kawhi Leonard out of game two on Tuesday night which would give him almost another full week to rest before game three back in Dallas on Friday and now the Mavericks are under a considerable considerable amount of pressure to try to figure out a, can they get a win here on Tuesday night in game two and even this series because they were certainly expecting to look a lot better than this against a Kawhi less Clippers there's uh, there's no question about that but again as uh, what's the famous line the series never really starts until the home team loses a game uh, the home team has done what it is supposed to do today in theory and they have taken 109 to 97 over the Mavericks today. The Clippers lead the series one game to none. We'll come back and uh, run through the box and do that all for you next on the Dallas Mavericks radio network. For worth Dallas. This is Luka Doncic. Listen out to 97-1 The Freak. The home of the Mavs. 97-1 The Freak. Hey, Mavs fans, when you're shopping for your game day essentials, don't forget to pick up a bag of Ruffles potato chips. Each chip is cooked to crispy, crunchy perfection with the classic Ruffles ridges you know and love. Try some of our Ruffles flavors, including original, cheddar and sour cream, 